Nude Joe button. Wait, say that again, Rory, since you want Sean Money to hear you. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> that soundtrack is underrated. Uh, uh, that was uh, the movie. Get Richard I try in the movie. What else was on there? Oh shit! Best yeah, friend yeah, was the yeah, second yeah, yeah, single. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. I don't know, I officer. Yeah, I remember. Shit on I remember. No. When the rains are pours. No, Joe Biden. No, Wally and Ma. It's Parks. It's Parks. What's happening? Uh, the <laughs> microphone check one two. What is this? Welcome to episode two fifty nine of the Joe Button podcast. Look at you. I'm your humble, grateful, and gracious host, Joe Button, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Maul is here, brother uh, Rashid Sunflower. Don't do that again, Maul. Oh. Parks is here. <laughs> Rory is here. Erickson is here. Savon is here. Gentlemen, how is everyone feeling on this beautiful afternoon slash evening? Feeling great, man. Good good weather. We got some good weather this weekend. We got some yeah, good weather man. today. Feeling good, man. Same. Summer's yeah. off to a cool start. The week cleared up. We're supposed to get a lot of rain for 4th of July. Yeah. It's looking real good. Yeah. Okay. Need to be on Changed the my mood a bit. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, before we get into Fourth of July, how was everyone's weekend? It was good. The weekend was cool. Grill. Did a lot of grilling. Grilling and chilling. Two, for two, two weekends. Yeah. Two days this weekend too. Oh yeah. You, you got busy. Uh, what you bag. cook this time? A rack of lamb. Okay. Rack of lamb. It's the neighborhood mm-hmm. for it. Mm-hmm. Neighborhood you know for I mean? the lamb. Whew. <laughs> 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 rack of lamb is delicious. Rack of lamb. Rack of lamb is really good. Yeah. 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 Underrated. Yeah. See, that's my beef with everyone here, though. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I would have loved some rack of lamb. I didn't get a text or a call or anything oh. Damn. from Parks. Oh, where? Damn. Mm. You did say you were going to come through, too. I would have came through. <laughs> For the lamb? <laughs> Word. Yeah. 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 Word. 100%. Yeah. A little, a little lamb and melody? No greens? Uh, Maul, no, I actually, Maul I actually spoke to, and he said, yo, uh, I'm going to call you right back as soon as I find the move. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you ever find the move? Uh, mm. I didn't, the move found me. Uh, oh, okay. Sometimes that happens. Just I was it. in the crib till one in the morning. When you one of those, you left the crib at one. I left the crib at like yeah, like that's one. the time you're supposed to leave in New York. I mean, well, yeah, but one, not one, on, one, the, one, on the weekend. Nah, usually out more. all yeah. day. When you find the move, though, not when you're in a borough though, too. Like, yeah. When you're outside, like when you're outside of Manhattan, you go all the way to Manhattan. Because it was a few day parties. It was a few uh, little brunches and shit like that. I want the record to show that at some point. He did find the move. I right? found the move. Yeah. Right. Okay. And I was never notified. Damn. What's funny about when you found the move, were there familiar faces at the move? Well, yeah. Oh. There's some familiar faces at the move. Who, who was there, Ma? Would you look at that? What do you know? Well, I had heard so, about uh, I heard about an R and B party. Oh, uh, okay. Man, I, yo, you know who loves R and B? Boy, I Rory. tell you. <laughs> In so, my defense, it wasn't quite an R and B party. Yeah. R&B wait, was played Wait so my, my guy Roars didn't shoot me A text or nothing Either way oh, You wow. wasn't going there I know my guy I don't, I don't like think that. you would've went there either though, honestly. I don't like that I don't like when fun occurs And then the reason that Like I don't like But I think you was out though No Yeah you was out Cause I seen I seen the highway pick uh, Brandon posted a highway pick So you assumed it was like the assist Yeah Well they was in the same car oh, Okay That means I had the ability to be mobile yeah. Is what that mm. means. So I could have molded uh, my way. If you was in the city, I would hit you to where you were. <laughs> <laughs> See, we was thinking about your travel. We were yeah, trying to man. cut your travel to, to the city at yeah. one thirty. Like, uh... yo, dude, relationships like. <laughs> what you what's mean? the point? That's <laughs> what is the point of being friends? No, with, if it was something, men, if it was something that I feel like you should have been at, I would hit you. But I didn't know how I was going to be, and I wasn't going to hit you before I got there and be like, yo. Okay, so listen. And then you make your way there and be like, this shit is trash. And so now I look and, and also, let me shoot uh, Maul some more bail. When Maul hit me, I was considering so I the, telling the him bailout no. bailout brothers is bad. <laughs> <laughs> Shooting some bail. Or get no, because he but was there like before me. Whole... Well, they, wait, he's at the bail counter already. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but then a whole array of people of a certain gender came in, and I was like, oh, all right. It would be worth Maul taking that trip from the Bronx down here. See? So I changed, I changed my mind in 15 minutes of saying, yo, more should come. See? So when that happened, where was the Joe should come? Joe, that's, it wasn't your speed, man. Okay, all right, there we go. I, I'll take that. Now, just give me the difference between more speed and mine. 
Well, you, you're coming from a further. Uh, you have you have a. <laughs> Not uh, barely. Oh, you're coming oh, from the Bronx. Is, is that is that is that what he conjured up? From all the way in See, Jersey. Yo, yeah. well, I was nah. rolling, but when you say shit like, "Oh, you're coming from a further distance," fam, more, if more I live all the, if I live more, all the way out in Jersey, and one of y'all tell me to come to this party, and then I get to that party and it's trash. I'm going to be mad that I came all the way from fucking Jersey. If Fair. I'm in Harlem, that's not far. If I have been home... I was 10 minutes from there. Beating my dick like I, I, a I Listen, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know what you're in a group chat. Yeah, I, so I didn't yeah. know that. I didn't know you was home abusing yourself. I didn't know that. No, I wasn't abused. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you was doing. <laughs> that was a romantic day. <laughs> no, and, and the difference between you and Maul is you have a longer checklist and you're more irritable when it comes to going out. Me and Maul, that's the, we could be the Mixie Boys because I know me and Maul, if, if we don't like the move... Yeah. Cool, we'll just leave. Sure, yeah. No love that, lost. We'll be fine. That, that's not what Joe does? No. no. Nah. Oh, my God, no. No. You do Joe is the king of the just leave. No, and then when you're in a spot like we was in. Yo, y'all are lying. Listen, listen, listen. When we're in a spot like, 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 like me and Rory was in, like, you get irritated really quick. You would get irritated. I know you would. Like, because you'd be on your and, celebrity and you shit. At me and you'd be like, said, yo, who the fuck is these people? Yo, yeah, why yeah. they keep coming up? Yo, put your phone down. Like, me, I don't care about that shit. Yeah. And you would have looked at me and said, why'd you invite me to this shit? Exactly. <laughs> See? <laughs> So we know where and when to invite you to something. Yeah. Normally, when somebody is at the bail counter to bail someone out, like the other person is far away. Like, <laughs> no, I don't have to that, be that, bailed that out. Person. They're locked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're in the prison. Yeah. I was at the bail out. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, I'm on the phone. <laughs> no, I see. <laughs> yeah, I'm on, the, I'm on the phone. Why can I hear this guy? <laughs> yeah, I'm on the phone. Uh, I want to shout out to our Spotify listenership. I want to uh, shout out to our YouTube viewership. Uh, and I want to shout out to all of you guys out there. So uh, the truck drivers or the nurses or somebody said I need to shout them out, but we did that before. You slept. Yeah. Them. Oh, and, oh, the high, them and high school students said to shout them out. They said we think that they don't listen and watch, but they do. Oh wow! So shout out really? to the high school. Look at our demo. Oh, shout out to the high school students. I don't know why I'm always so shocked when uh, really young people or older people are listening to us. Yeah. We you think that we're right there in the middle. But I'm shocked when anybody <laughs> well, is like really listening to us. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I'm still shocked that anyone is listening, yeah. but thank this you. The C-Town worker. Mm. Just everyone. Anyways, high school C-Town, students, I'm still C-Town's terrified. Terrified of you guys, man. Yo, speaking of C-Town real quick, and this has nothing to do with anything, but the other day when I'm in the supermarket, they redoing the supermarket, so you got to bag your own shit. So <laughs> I was bagging my own shit. Let me just tell everybody. Niggas didn't want to work with me. <laughs> when you was bagging your when, shit? When, when, he was nice when, to when, bag when, up? When, when your mom made you go go to the local supermarket and bag get, up some get shit a job. and get a job. Kids don't do that no more. That was my I, first job ever. Yeah, yeah. that was groceries. a lot of kids' first jobs. That, sweeping the, the barbershop. Washing dishes. Kids don't do that. Yeah. They, they, like, kids these days think that that's, like, beneath them. Yeah. Like, well, I'm not bagging never. no groceries. They would never. My kid would never yeah. bag a grocery. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Is it just... Is it all of New Jersey or Jersey City now that got rid of plastic bags? They're on the California shit. You got to oh, pay for plastic here, bags too. now. They're doing it in New York. So too. I, it just made me realize how much of a shitty person I, I really am. Because I'm on paper, what the environment, of course. Right. Let's go green. Like, why are we still doing this? <laughs> Let me get a lot of groceries at SeaTown, and I have to walk home with those, and you're giving me fucking paper bags? <laughs> I want to be in... Fuck I'm, the environment. I want to... <laughs> I want to. I wish I could have been in the Congress meeting or whoever held the meeting to say that straws is what's going to do it. <laughs> that, 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 the metaphor with all of the, with all of the. <laughs> that was a good one, Rory. Yeah, well, you know, forty, fifty, ninety, all right? <laughs> <laughs> with all of the bullshit going on in the world, the straws will do it, and I want the old straws back. Me too. I hate well, these well, new straws. Well, no, they're they're moving. I think they're moving away from the paper straws, and they're getting into. The sugar cane straws because the paper straws they you only have about seven minutes before they get soggy. <laughs> but they're saying sugar cane. I think you're being generous. Seven Word. minutes as soon as I insert the paper straw into the four cylinder hole, yeah. it gets cut and it's ripped, <laughs> and now I'm just sucking. And I'm like, oh man, glad I'm a guy. Yeah, they're they're they're, they're moving into always the one. sugar cane straw. It's always one. <laughs> Fifteen minutes in, that's always one. What? <laughs> you, you have a sucker straw with a hole in it and don't know it's a hole in it? I have before, yes. See, glad you're a guy, right? <laughs> well, listen, man, you got it. <laughs> you got it, bro. Yeah. You got it. I would, be, I would be the most rude chick. <laughs> I wish a nigga would try to fucking tell me to suck something. I'd shoot your whole face off, nigga. <laughs> Yo, so the Knicks got no one. <laughs> Take it to sports. 
<laughs> All right, no, no, no. We, we, no, let's start somewhere. Come on, come on, come on. I'm in a silly mood. What are we talking about? What happened? Good question. Nothing happened. Mad shit happened. Nothing happened at all. All right, well, you know, <laughs> nothing really happened to start with. No. Nothing no. happened that's important enough for me to come in here. Listen, I thought that Taylor Swift stuff was really important before I read up on it. I didn't read up on it. I just asked Parks to tell me what was going on. And now that he told me, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> why, is, why is everybody Oh, Joe you have to tell us about well, What's going on with Taylor It's the ownership of masters thing That's your bag The creators yeah. The creators versus the machine But this is not that I don't think it is either I mean it is but No it, it is It is. It's doctored Alright Rory t- t- You know Rory Sony man I'm telling y'all but, We have to redo the industry list But fine <laughs> <laughs> Just based off off the, okay. the stance the stances that we take in this podcast, we should that's how we should base the industry list. Not on our actions outside of this podcast, because we're all industry, because we work in this industry. Right. We should base it off of our stances, our views, our perspectives, and our opinions. And oh, then you number one. And doing it that way, who's y'all list? Am I still number one? Yes. <laughs> yes. For you and Rory, of course. I think for Parks too. Yeah, think, every yeah. time. Oh, yeah. All right. Look, <laughs> <laughs> you tried to know for Parks. Is it safe on number one still? <laughs> yeah, my views and opinions? Yes. Uh, I'm yeah. all for the creators. That's industry, Joe. No, no. All for the creators. And you just industry said shit. this wasn't that, and I said it was. So you sound more industry than I do in this. Hmm. Okay. Well, no, you're saying that it is. So. This somehow, but, somehow this backfired on me. I thought, that, I thought, I thought, <laughs> I thought you had your out. I thought you shuffled the deck a little bit. Every <laughs> single time we have one of these talks, and maybe I'm just more, uh, maybe I notice it more than y'all. Every time, it never fails. Rory's the Republican. <laughs> oh, I now every see the narrative trying to change. Every single time. <sighs> every time Because we I love you, the, I'm going to hold it down talk, and just let you say that. Mm-hmm. He's that guy. He's Sony Man. He transforms. Sony Man. <laughs> oh my God. He does turn into Sony Man. Sony Man. You know he's Sony Man and Rock Nation Man. Be- because and I, because Jam I try Man. to give artists and Def Jam Man. Come on. Rules. Because I try to give artists uh, <laughs> the information they need he's to man. not sign a shitty deal. It's actually quite the opposite. I'm giving well, you the I've game, never, oh, you but when you Russ. go in there, you, never, you know so, not to do that yeah, shit. So one Rory Russ interview. <laughs> <laughs> he said Rory Russ. One Russ interview, and now you're giving him the game. All right. All right, explain this to me, Rory, because uh, to me, I don't, I don't see how this is uh, machine against creator. Well, I mean, Taylor Swift is certainly part of the machine to a degree, mm-hmm. but you are taking someone's full masters from them and putting them to even a no, bigger not, machine. That's not, not true. Them. They're not taking them from. That's her. not true. I'm sorry. Took them from Rip. Yeah. No, they were just, taken. No, just not giving them to you <laughs> is what it is. It's not giving them back. Yeah. Well, see, that's not, why not you're giving them. Okay, to you, period. so that's why no you're. Back. That's why. <laughs> well, you never had them. Yeah, exactly. I'm not, I'm not giving them to you. That's why you're a Republican in this stance, and you're the machine, because you don't think that the creator, the moment they create something, owns it. You think just because I funded it, well, I own it. I mean... No, you don't own it if you sign it away like all the creators rush to do. Correct. And I'm the Republican. Actually, why am I a Republican for saying that? <laughs> that that's, that's the way it that's is. That's what happens. Yeah. You were just accusing me of being the label... Republican for doing just that. And I'll be the Republican exactly in saying that the labels don't be wrong in wanting to own the masters. No, it's a business. Yeah. That's how they oh, make yeah. their money. Oh, that's what y'all are saying. All right, I get what you're saying. All right, thank you, Parks. Yeah. I'm not Republican. That, 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 that's correct. Yeah. That's how they make their money. I'm, if, no, I'm if you are stupid enough to sign over your masters, which... A lot of people do. Well, yeah. I, most people. Well, do. I've done it. Yeah. We've done it. That, was, had, that, was, that was what you Damn had there. to do at a certain point yeah. in the game. If you sign them away, pretty yeah. much every deal, that's a deal point. Yeah. <laughs> if them. you want to sign, that's part of it. Yeah, because otherwise it's like the uh, Wu Tang doc when they're arguing about giving twenty percent to the managers. Like the label's going to take their cut. Yeah, and it's going to be more than twenty. But of course. But Taylor Swift today, because she signed a new deal, right? Mm. So from in that deal, she owns her masters. Mm. So this, these are old masters we're talking about. Correct. Okay. Yeah, her first six albums or whatever it mm-hmm. was. Which did substantially well. Absolutely. Huge records. Oh, of course she would want them. Of course mm-hmm. she would yeah. want them. Yeah, this isn't her mixtape. No. <laughs> but this wasn't I guess the Taylor demo. This is not her the, demos. The, yeah, the, the discrepancy here is uh, that did she attempt to purchase them and was blocked or was unable to for some reason? No, her argument was that when she wanted to, when she was up for renegotiation of her deal, uh, she was saying that the label offered to give her back an album for every new album that she made. When you say the label, you mean this 
the small yeah, whatever, label. Uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, got it. Whatever label she was signed to. And look, mm-hmm. look that up, Tavon, while we talk, please. Yeah, uh, Big Machine is what the label is called. Anyway, <laughs> uh, ironically, yeah. <laughs> so, but the label came back with with. Receipts with evidence from emails and, and, and contracts that said that wasn't the case. If she resigned, she would get all of her masters back. So now it's kind of a he said, she said situation. Hmm. It's always the emails. Yeah. That's why I don't email. <laughs> <laughs> I told Maul to get rid of his Yahoo. <laughs> Shut the AOL down. Still got, <laughs> still got a hotmail. <laughs> yeah. No Rory. <worries. laughs> Maul, what are you email about? I don't know. Depends who who's emailing me. Hey. I get a lot of random emails from like I was just telling Cam Parks. Soda. No, not to Cam Soda. When you uh, <laughs> fans only connect to I'm only no. fan. No. I was tight when they sent it to my email. <laughs> like, the, like, yeah, whoa, whoa. Felt, felt too personal. Yeah, this is not the place whoa, for this. Whoa, yeah, I'm not even in that mood anymore. <laughs> I don't need to see the receipt. <laughs> I bought a hundred so tokens last night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's talking? I don't even know. Y'all are disgusted, man. <laughs> We're not disgusting. Yes, y'all are. It's okay, though. I have it's a okay blast in house. I, wait, no, wait, hold on. Maul, Maul, wait. Maul, because I want to put money in the hands of the creators? No. Because that's I, what I was doing. Come on, You're right. Man. You're, right. You're right. Give back. They're Give creating back. shit where they at and where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the best creators. Damn, I wonder if they own their masters. Mm. <laughs> Depends, depends the representation Y'all are sick uh, okay. The Yo, deal That on. was a nice name for it Alright come on Y'all are being nasty today Back to Taylor Swift Come on uh, Yeah so she put out A Tumblr post uh, Upset that She's Oh my god Her and Frank Ocean <laughs> The last <laughs> people left on Tumblr <laughs> Yes <laughs> Have you ever been on Tumblr? No Never had Ever Tumblr. in my life? Like have you had a I've Tumblr? I've been on Tumblr But no, I've never had a, a I never real, had I'm a real ass <laughs> nigga I got <laughs> Yo Yo Mo You be trying to fail with me I gotta ask I never had man. a Tumblr I'm, I you don't think know I just had a Tumblr And put up a picture of a rose or, Let me tell you guys why <laughs> <laughs> My favorite rose <laughs> On April 2001 I don't know I, I was ask. walking by Central Park I'm, I thought y'all might have been In the Tumblr streets No 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 But I went on a couple pages Girls were freaking out I'm alright I don't know why y'all are shitting On Tumblr right now I had bad luck with all the freaky girls. The Tumblr oh, joints was it. Was crazy. God, I was posting about flowers and shit. I'm like, bitch, get naked. Yeah, but then there'd be a pussy underneath it. Like, yeah, you didn't, oh, scroll, you didn't keep scrolling. Oh, I, I thought that was a tulip. No, <laughs> no that was, that's what it was. No, it was two lips. That's what it was. <laughs> no, it was two lips. That's what it was. Oh, look at y'all being funny today. Look at Maul for three. Maul don't even know me pull up. <laughs> don't do that, buddy. See what happens when Maul. you take the corner? Maul. Get your fucking little short ass baseline corner three, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> two lips. That was cute. We need, we need to bring that on tour. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck Edit up. that so we can use it for the year. <laughs> yeah, word. Uh, Nah, I never saw the freak chicks on. on oh, they were out there. Oh, they was there. Yo, but you know they what? They still might be there. I can't yeah. never listen to Parks because Parks has this uncanny ability to find the freaks anywhere. Like, <laughs> you you luck out on uh, Tinder. Like, you're the only guy that... Like, hey, Parks is not the only guy to fi- find the freaks on Tinder. There were. There's a lot of millions. <laughs> <laughs> millions Parks of was the only guy... Wait, did in- I just hear that correctly? What? That's what the, the app is for. <laughs> it's the freaky app. <laughs> All right. Everyone slow down and attempt to understand what I'm saying. I know that people it's are fine. You're in a dad hat. I've never said it's, it's yeah, weird. I can't, it's hard to gauge what's going on. I say you look mad mm-hmm. young and hip. <laughs> like, hey, guys. Yeah. <laughs> he definitely hey, like Hey, you. Trey. I'm one you wanna... of you. <laughs> <laughs> you hitting the stew today, Trey? Dad wants to come and rap. <laughs> It's parks. It's, 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 it's parks. It's parks. What's that? Uh, no, the- <laughs> no, Wally and Ma. I like it, Joe. I like the. Movie. What was the movie where, where the dude pretended to be like a little kid in high school, but Big? was old know. as shit? Don't know. Every movie from the nineties. <laughs> that sounds like every trailer from the nineties. For real, Mad Adam Sandler movies. Word. You do have an Adam Sandler jo- vibe you definitely right now, Joey over Madison over here. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> We're supposed to be talking about Taylor Swift. <laughs> we were. Not, we are. Not me and a dad at Cucumbers. <laughs> That's what I thought we were here to talk about. They're selling out everywhere. <laughs> All right. They can't find All any. Right. You know what? Now y'all, let me just let the listeners know. <laughs> listeners, especially first time listeners, because some of y'all might be confused. Anytime Maul and Rory hang out together on the weekend... <laughs> The podcast turns to this. It's great. Great content. Yeah. Do you want to start with cucumbers? Let's let's finish the <laughs> Taylor, Taylor Swift, Swift. And we'll have fun or with cucumbers. My dad Pause. hat. 
or Little Nas X. I think we should make a gumbo of all of it. They yes. tried to they tried to freak the dad hat with all the different haircuts you can get on the side. And Joe can't get any of those haircuts. That's You're bald. Funny. No, that's what I mean. <laughs> that's the funny shit about it. Says all taper, Caesar, Joe can't get no Bohawk, taper, no Caesar. Shape up. Only thing is bald. And first of all, I don't Joe ever want to hear the word blend hipster like the, come out of your mouth when you have a faux hawk hat on. <laughs> Joe be trying to blend <laughs> the sideburns into the beard. Like, that's when he trying to really... That's the taper? That's when, you let, that's when Joe lets you know he going out for sure. Like, when you tell a barber, yo, listen, the top of the, the beard, blend it down. <laughs> give it a little fade. Because I'm stepping start out this week. Half, yeah, chin, I'm, starting, like I'm, start, I'm stepping out this week. A little fade. Yeah. <laughs> a bald head. No to, <laughs> I'm, I'm is that a fade? I'm stepping out this weekend. <laughs> Joe would have fade the top of the burns. Yo, fade the t- I wanted to like kind of gracefully come into the beard. I want the beard to gracefully appear at the bottom. <laughs> Listen, you can't hate on the taper on the sides, man. That saves a lot of men from really I like it, looking though, as bald as they could Joe be. Joe don't like wearing hats like that. He, I, I like it. I like that look. Because if you the wore a fedora with that, I'd have like, fam, listen. <laughs> no, you know he started with a fedora. He yeah, like, oh, mm, for sure. It's too hot out. Yo, <laughs> Trey. The, but not the, not the big brim yeah. fedora, the smaller where's fedora. The, where's the faux hat? <laughs> he got the smaller fedoras, when, like the straw fedoras, when you're like, feeling like really like, casual. It's a little, out, yeah, it's yeah, a little yeah. casual. He, he throw yeah. the straw fedora can't on. can't put the, the lavender wool one on. No, 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 no. You can't put the one with, with the, the lit match. match. Stick. Yeah, the, the lit match stick on the side. No. I so hate, Taylor Swift, uh, I hate when y'all go out together on the weekend. I swear to God. <laughs> Who was out for 30 minutes together? <laughs> that, that was it. And then did the dip, huh? Mm. Yes, I went I went somewhere else. Yeah, I went I went to another club after that. Ooh, what's happening? Yeah. You left. Same block, the avenue, you know, same mm. right there. Same Meatpacking. Show. Yeah. Pause. Oh, you was on the bricks. Yeah. Okay, speaking of meatpacking, would you guys like to Joe. start? <laughs> No, <laughs> I don't know where We you should going. give women some credit for a change on this podcast to the ones that can walk on heels in the meatpacking district. It's still amazing. I can't walk in sneakers. Word. They I can't, trip they can't on all that shit. Look what happens. Ankles <laughs> fucked up. Look what happens when Taylor Swift is the lead. Niggas don't give a fuck. Scribe. For those that don't know. The white girl lost all her masters. Oh, man. Anyway, hard to walk on heels. In the meat pack. You ever tried it? The cobblestone, the bricks. I can't walk in a deep. I was mad. Y'all wanted to start with that. I'm like, I read the article. For those that don't know, Scooter Braun and a hedge fund bought all her shit. Scooter Braun's wife went on Instagram and said, y'all was doing laundry. Taylor Swift tried to get slick. Fuck you. We got your shit now. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's the gist of it. Yeah. yeah. It I, all goes back to Kanye somehow. It's all a beef about Kanye. And, and more. <laughs> and more. <laughs> I have nothing uh, to do with this. Dude, that no, Sunday service Kardashian. praying for Taylor to lose her masters. <laughs> no. I, I would never pray for That's Taylor. That's a sick prayer. To lose. I would never do that to Taylor. I don't know. Swift. I wouldn't do that to Taylor. Um, yeah, would, I don't, do that right. to TT? No. So Taylor and I have her masters. Taylor's too dramatic for me to care about. That's that's the problem. Is she's always dramatic about something or surprised? But yeah, yeah. And sometimes I would have loved to see the fake surprise. You know how she's always surprised every time she wins an award that she showed up because she knew she was going to win. Right. I would have loved to see the surprise face. That yo, so Scooter Braun, you know, you saw him in the lobby. He owns all your shit now. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Oh my god! She got the emails. Is the funny tell part you about one it. thing? That's a nice little catalog. Don't oh, know. A nice little catalog. That's a nice little lick to get off. Yeah, I'll take the three hundred. I'd be mad too. Shit, I'm mad about movie movies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad about my self titled debut. Damn, damn, that piff taking it all from you. That's funny. Damn, that piff on the masters. <laughs> That Piff owns your masters. That's crazy. That Piff on a low owns mad owns mad oh, masters. Listen, for real? We, yeah. Yes, I, I would think so. Let me not say that because I don't know that. I don't right. know that. Yo, if that Piff, all, that Piff they was were early the on the on the uh, exclusive. Hey, yeah. come give me an an exclusive mixtape here only. Yeah, people are probably not reading that contract yeah, too tight. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, yeah. They was giving you a nice little twenty k. You was like, word. Yeah, like, word. Nah, you just don't know. No, I wasn't. I was fighting with Joe and them. <laughs> what I was doing. Wait, y'all sure? <laughs> we got an album coming out next week. Like, ne- we- next week? <laughs> do we have to do this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fuck you. Are you sure? That- I can see Joe in the room like, wait, y'all sure? Like, y'all really landed That's on this? That's a wild like, question. In a mi- yeah. are, are y'all sure? Yeah, like, y'all landed yo, on this? So much, yo, so much in the entertainment business would go differently. If the nigga in the meeting, if the artist just stood up and said, 
Wait. Hey, you sure about yeah. this? Yeah. <laughs> Something um, about this. I don't know, feel right. but my, my intuition is yeah. telling me the 4K ain't going to cut it for very long. <laughs> nah, at all. Um, all right, so salute to Taylor, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's the scooter. He came and, up and Scooter. <laughs> I don't never trust no nigga named Scooter. Yes, he sounds like busy. He sound like a nigga that want my masters. Oh, get away from me! <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, Scooter sound like he always up to something. Yeah. Hey, didn't Justin named... get involved somewhere in that? Yeah, he did. What did I'm Justin so say? Well, Scooter Wait, Timberlake is ju- no, uh, Bieber, Bieber got involved in the uh, Taylor uh, Swift so Scooter one Braun. Of them. <laughs> it's always one of them. Either or yeah. one of the Justins. Sa- same difference, kinda. It is, they are the same person. A <laughs> little bit. No, they're not. <laughs> they are. Yeah. Once Bieber gets that fucking flannel bag. Bieber, Bieber got Justin out of here. They did kind of follow on the same path of being kids, except for the group, and then hung out with black people, and then were like, "Just kidding, I don't want to do that, guys." And then did the white thing. Yeah. All right, maybe hey, you have a point. <laughs> we need a long list of the white people that did That's that. Most of them. It's a long list. But yeah, Mark Wahlberg was like, "Whoa, never mind." <laughs> he did it. <laughs> Wait, did Mark did Mark Wahlberg come in uh, with black people? Yeah. Well, he was the Funky Bunch. He was rapping. No, I know he was rapping. But it wasn't like a, a white wasn't people black. time to rap. I don't know. I don't think the Funky Bunch nah, was the Funky Bunch was mad diverse. Uh, That's what I thought, anyway. White people well, are... Fun- I thought that from the You're not race. naming the white people the Funky Bunch. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely would name a, a group nah, of white yeah. boys the Funky Bunch. <laughs> Why? Y'all got rhythmic radio. <laughs> 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 rhythmic <laughs> How did they get I just read somebody rhythmic. Was like number one On rhythm Was it the city girls With no rhythm <laughs> Number oh, no, one on girls. rhythmic yeah, I was like what? I thought you came Like a white girl I was, was, I was like what is Rhythmic radio rhythm. What does that mean It was all white people In that room We're, rhythmic. we're taking rhythmic <laughs> Yeah <laughs> And nobody stood up and said, "When are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> nobody, you for sure. sure. Nobody in that oh, meeting should sure? sure? I don't know if white people should get. Yeah, I don't know. If we should be in here talking about rhythmic. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're done with we're done with Taylor Swift in 2019. It's the Urban Radio. Are you sure we should still call it this? <laughs> urban Radio. Yeah, that's the same as the Redskins. <laughs> yeah. This, along the same lines should, Are you sure that one <laughs> They should have bended that yeah. No they keep Are you sure the Redskins And they keep ignoring it Yeah we're sure At the end of the conference table goes Yeah, yeah. yeah That's yeah, fine yeah. I like it I like this, it This is our name Yeah I like <laughs> it Be mad nigga yeah. <laughs> So what It's been working uh, That's sick <laughs> Yeah That's fine <laughs> Look at my fucking Lakers man What <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me you're mad. I dare you to be mad. I dare you. I'll punch you in your face right now. Jared Dudley, two point six million. Yes, I'm mad. You need shooters. <laughs> Jared Dudley can shoot, mm-hmm. and y'all don't have any money, and y'all been waiting around for Kawhi, so all of the good people are gone. So you're left with Kawhi's not coming to the Lakers. He sure is. No, he's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Wait, are we done with cucumbers? <laughs> <laughs> I just read that. It popped up, and I'm just mad about that. But go ahead. Anyway. No. All right, listen. People are really upset with you. <laughs> are they upset? I don't know if you've been in your local produce uh, aisle lately. A lot of yeah, I think, I'm ready to get in on the stock market on the cucumbers. <laughs> Them shits is flying out of the stores, it's booming down. Oh, not me. My ticket that big. <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about? You <laughs> bitches doing all these tricks. I'm like, man, <laughs> you, you can cut that one. <laughs> Make it pickle shape. Hey, 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 you ain't got to do all that. Ah, hey, just get a knife. You, you impressed me halfway through. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> you, Yo, it's something seriously wrong with this thing. What? <laughs> Nigga said, not me. <laughs> oh, no. You're doing all that to that? Ooh, yeah. Keeping my dick to myself. <laughs> I don't understand you niggas just running around getting excited. Bitches are scaring me. What? <laughs> What you scared of, man? Them. Bitches doing that to produce. That just, but you know what? That just shows us where the world is. Like people are just so thirsty to just hop Suck on any wave. Like it's like, yo, what are y'all doing? They're sucking cucumbers. Yeah, but why? Could, you ever tasted a cucumber? Yes, they don't taste <laughs> yeah, like anything. Plain, yeah. <laughs> they taste like water, especially nah. the, like the outside is like. The well, that, that's, that's kind of nasty. <laughs> well, that girls, man. That's why I don't understand. It's like, what are y'all doing? People just want to hop on any wave, man. It's crazy. So are you more mad at the people that are sucking cucumbers? No, I don't. Or, I don't give or, a or fuck. Are you it's mad just at the people that's mad at people sucking cucumbers. No, I'm just. I'm laughing at <laughs> people that just the thought of people really running to the grocery I, store to buy cucumbers. You don't to think f- they had it in the bag already? No. When's the yeah, last I don't time think you went that's to the like supermarket? An item that that's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. 
Cucumbers are always available. Trust me. <laughs> People are not just buying a bunch of cucumbers. Like that's why I'm just laughing. Like this is a yeah. thing now. Like, I've never walked really... in there and be like, oh, the cucumbers are in season. Yeah, I, <laughs> they're just always there. That. They're sitting there. There's yeah. plenty. Cucumbers are like the little, the little, uh, the little things, you, the it's little like baskets. Celery. No, like the baskets in the supermarket. You just you look at them, you walk right past them. Like <laughs> I get a full cart before I pick that shit up. Like the fuck is that? Wealth. No, but I'm, even if you don't have a lot in your cart, who yeah. wants to hold that basket? <laughs> The Knicks, so... <laughs> oh, God. No, we got, we got, I'm going to have fun with that. Don't you worry. Uh, it's th- later on. What else do you need to talk about? Are we I mean, done with the cucumbers? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Joe, Joe, Joe's thought about this. He's sick of cucumbers. Nah, don't put... Yo, I'm you sick just of, said... I'm sick of me taking a rap for finding that's shit what you to ju- talk about on this no, podcast. No, that's what you just said, though. But I'm not mad at, at cucumbers. I'm, I'm, you look, fuck with cucumbers? Women have been a- a- venting to me angry... About the women that are angry about Oh, like women that. are angry because women are angry. Yes. It's three, it's three yes. degrees of anger. Oh, so nothing has so changed in the world. Yeah, everybody's it's, happy. It's women it's sucking world. cucumbers. It's women being mad at the women sucking cucumbers. Then it's women mad at the women mad of the women sucking the cucumbers. So, we're, in the, we're in an inception. So of nothing cucumbers. has changed with women, the women, women over the weekend. Women are tough to understand. If, if people, I, I'm trying to tell you. I'm if she wants to, to suck you. cucumbers on Instagram, I've seen weirder things on Instagram. I have. So, I have. Have you? This is, up, this is up there, though. It's up there. Sucking a cucumber is weird, my nigga. Like deep throating. Oh, I'm not saying it's not weird. Oh, yeah, word. Deep throating. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't want to be with no bitch that can deep throat anyway. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> hey, pass my pants. <laughs> what are you doing? All right. Yo, you I'm take out. your pants all the way off when you get hit? I haven't gotten any. I, <laughs> I, I mean, I have. It's not something I. But like, consciously you leave your shirt about. and everything on. It depends on the situation. Well, yeah, it depends what. How but like, you're, I'll say so. You take everything from the waist down off. I have. I'm keep it a bean. <laughs> it's coming off, damn. <laughs> <laughs> You yeah, can't ass ass ass. Yo, you yeah, never look at yourself sorry. like after like sex, off. like the way you dressed. <laughs> it's coming off. <laughs> like if you had like a random just sexual moment, you'd be ass naked from the waist <laughs> down and have a hat and a, a hoodie on. <laughs> <laughs> like yo, how did I look at my life, my nigga? How did I end up like this? Have you then had to? I love FaceTime the other day with a scully on. <laughs> that naked <laughs> in June, ass naked with a scully on on Facetime. <laughs> Thought I was freaking. I gave it a neck up. <laughs> what you look weird over there? Chick Black, what you doing? Nothing. You know, just chilling. <laughs> Nothing. Ass at all. naked from the yeah. chest down. Is it, is it hot or cold in there? I, I can't really gauge the temperature Yo, in the home. You got a scully on in June on Facetime <laughs> with your bare chest out. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I gotta start going to this nigga crib boy. I, got, I gotta get him out the house, man. What you doing over there? I'm just home. But why you why you got a scully on and you ass naked? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this nigga is one of a kind, man. Well, taking you down, your socks off b- before your oh, scully. Oh, oh, oh no, man. no, no, I know what happened. No, if I tell y'all what happened, y'all really. No, you have to. You have to. No. I'm too invested now. What happened? How do you just have a scully on in June? I ran up. Because I had a scully on and I was dressed. Right. Okay. <laughs> Still weird, but. Do I want to explain this yeah. to you? Yes, you have to. I feel like. Make I'm, it make sense. But listen, no, it's not going to make sense. <laughs> okay. Right. But I feel like I need y'all to come in here and share some of these stories from you guys. I don't, lives. Joe, I have no story like that. <laughs> <I've never laughs> been, it's hard to compete. I promise you, I've never been ass naked with a scully on. I was fully dressed. I have sweatpants, mm-hmm. sweatshirt, my normal around the crib wear. And then yeah, I, comf- comfy shit. And then I, something happened. And I ran upstairs, and you know, I took the sweats off like some breakaways, mm-hmm. and I stretched my little Nick sweatshirt mm-hmm. right up over, right up over the Scully. Okay, like magic. Okay. So then I was naked mm-hmm. with the Scully on, I just jumped into bed with it. It was good. <laughs> but you do know What's you going? can see yourself on the FaceTime. No, no. All right, you do know you can move the little square. <laughs> hey, Joe don't go for what he looked like on the screen. No, no. And I got moved that little square so fast. I'm never right. seeing me. Anyway, back to you, Ma. The square ever be blocking like the ass? You look, look at this yeah. shit. I don't, like, how do I make this? Just, I don't want to see Word. me. Oh, I don't yeah. ever want to see me. <laughs> We have nothing to talk about. It's Not great. I love it. At all. <laughs> you love, we always love this shit. Yeah. Come on now, where's my phone? We're going to talk about something, God damn it. We want- Wait, so, no, never mind, carry on. <laughs> you, still, you still invested? You no, still- I've, I've heard enough, Pride actually. Pride weekend. That happened this weekend. Hey! hey, 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 hey. hey. 
You can, you can, we have we have both those effects in. The, <laughs> in the we have clapping. We have drums. <laughs> we have it all. Yo, what? You know what's funny? We had at least two hours of amazing, sensible conversation before we got these mics on. That's true. Like we said, all sounded like we were bright, mm -hmm. intelligent. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> no one wants to hear that shit. Word. <laughs> we went pop. They want to dumb down, bro. That's a fact. Oh, it's not a fact. It's <laughs> a lie. All right. Gay, gay Pride was this week, and I stayed in the house because of traffic. I'm scared. There was, scared there was of traffic. traffic. Uh, Anytime there's a parade period in New York, it's the dub for the whole New city. New York don't know how to do... Yeah. New York, they don't know how to fucking successfully have people out at the same time. <laughs> That's hard. <laughs> in one of the most populated cities and in the world. And now they got the nerve to be raising the price of the bridge. For real? They've been doing that every year. Word. We're doing it again. That shit was six dollars when I moved here. I didn't didn't think you needed more than the fifteen. <laughs> Word. No. Nah, that's just gonna, gonna be, be cool. It, and they're gonna do the jump where it's like fifteen to twenty. Not you're not even gonna see seventeen dollars. Word. Well, that's why I wish your fucking great grandfather was here, man. Give us a bridge right he, from yo, River Road to West Side Highway. He would, would do it by himself and it'd be for free. I would take it every day. He didn't teach you to trade. <laughs> <laughs> you run around having parties and drinking. <laughs> or um, I'm building a metaphorical bridge. That's what that was. <laughs> Jesus, man. Gay Pride. <laughs> yeah, Pride weekend. So no one did any Pride activities. I went to a, uh, a gay bar. Okay. With my girl and Ian and his girl. Okay. It was lit. Okay. There was a little drag show situation, a little karaoke thing going on. Hey. Ian be wild. Ian won. <laughs> <laughs> nah, let's, M Miss Lasagna won. I would hope Miss Lasagna nah, would Ms. win. Miss Lasagna sounded like she would win. Yeah. Yeah, she did her thing. <laughs> she did her thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know it's a good night, though. Yeah. Y'all had, had a good time. I'm, I'm glad. Y'all invite me. Nobody invites me. I'm telling you. I don't understand. I can't even get invited to the drag show. <laughs> well, my, our girls wanted to go dance. We didn't really want to go dance. And we were in at the beer garden. And right down the street, there's a gay bar that has drag shows. And they were like, oh, let's go do that. I said, fuck it. Yeah, it's Friday uh, weekend. Let's my, go. My oldest son went to the parade. I saw it on his uh, Instagram. <clears throat> uh, so I was I was happy. I was happy about that. I was proud of him. Yeah, uh, I saw the pic he put up. To yeah. under, understand that at such a, such a young age and be supportive at such a young age. I fuck with that. Um, Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, no, nah, their generation is cool. Their generation, they don't yeah. care. Like, what? Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> Word. Um, Little Nas X took the opportunity uh, for gay pride to come out and say he's gay. He came out the closet. I don't know if he did that on stage. But I think it was did. a tweet. I thought it was prior to that, and then he followed it up and was like, I thought y'all Ben knew. There was a tweet, and then there was the uh, reference to the album cover having a rainbow flag on it. Okay. Uh, yeah, he did highlight that one. Mm. Oh, and a record. I guess there was lyrics or something. Yeah, yeah, that's what it uh, started with. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, congratulations to Lil Nas X. Yeah, congrats to Lil Nas X. Great. Let me have the round of applause for Lil Nas X, man. Anytime, also a any, now. anytime you can live your truth, I'm I'm in support of it. God damn it. His song is also Diamond, Old Town Road. Yeah. Oh, I ain't like the day was T's in for the song. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, the internet is brutal. It really is. Y'all gonna change change the words around. You Y'all made him come out and tell y'all he was talking about a horse. <laughs> yeah, I like that kid. His Twitter's hilarious. <laughs> he, he said, you. you guys, I was talking about a horse. <laughs> Man, no, he's had, he's had the best responses to coming out. Because he was, yo, next dude that offend me, I'm going to just kiss him in the mouth. I started dying laughing. <laughs> Yeah, no, he's great. He troll. He tr he does whatever that is. He does it correctly. Yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah, he's he's fun. It's, uh, uh, no, he's, he's according good. to this uh, article from the source is now the longest running hot from one hundred number one <laughs> single. <laughs> in hip -hop. Remember when the source was oh, the source history? Oh, thanks, Benzino. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for that fact. In, in hip hop thanks, history, though. Thanks, Dave Mays. They keep coming up with these. Facts. They changed the genre. I thought Hotline Bling was the longest, and then it beat the Beatles. Then Nicki beat Aretha, and now this Madonna guy is been here. Yeah, Ma yeah, word. Come on, like yeah. who's who's winning? <laughs> then Adele well, is, is the biggest seller ever. Also, yeah, that's true. I don't. I can't keep up with the ESPN music musician stats. Yeah, yeah. No. I can't. And I, I, I really wish y'all stopped putting them out. Yeah, yeah like y'all don't even clicks. think y'all look right when y'all put them out. 
Like Billboard putting out the Lil Nas X stats, that's, that's one third. thing. That's third. Y'all putting out y'all own stats looks nuts, but I won't get into that right now. Um, but congrats. The yes, success. and congrats Lil Nas X and the success of this uh, huge record. Still, still, I'm still not ready to call it a uh, song of the summer. That's crazy. We're two, weeks, we're two weeks into the summer. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm not is that right. not uh, valid uh, logic? Sort of, but it's, it's diamond. <laughs> I don't it's think. Still I going. Yeah, I don't. But but I, see, when I say nowhere song, that you went, nowhere that's what I was, that I've yeah, gone, that's what I was nowhere going to say. He's gauge, gone. Gauge it differently. Has Old Town Road come on and the dance floor erupted? But that's I what have, actually. <laughs> no, I've I've I've, I've been I've, to a couple parties in Patterson in the hood, like and that shit went off. Nah, I've oh, never been in any on, club man. and it came on or any party and they played that. I record. was in the Starlets when it came on and the strippers did the little fake horsey. Where I'm like, knock it off. <laughs> they play that record. <laughs> I've not heard it at like a baby shower. I'm not tipping you at all into the production. That's part of the baby shower set. Like your baby shower, like you could throw a little Nas X on. Is it? Nah, that shit goes I've off. I've heard bro. it at baby showers. The kids love it. Oh no, the kids love it. That's why I don't call it Song of the Summer because I think it's more geared to a younger. Yeah, no. When I talk song. song of the Summer, I mean at the parties. For like, I know what the song like of the summer. Yeah. What's the song of the summer? Yeah, that's, <laughs> not, that's how not, I, not I the children. It. What's the song of the summer, bro? Right now? Yeah. Uh, I think I think Pop Smoke might have it. With the weird yeah. party at. Yeah, uh, tell me what that's. I, I was early behind. I'm gonna play it for. Uh, so I play it for my sleeper. Was early behind. Big old freak. Still gets the same reaction. I don't know if it's gonna last. I hope it does. But big old freak was, was high. Yeah. Going into the summer, I don't know yet though. Yeah, pop smoke might have it. I don't I, know. I, that see it. Yeah, I don't know if I know. Yeah. It. You'll know it in in, in a couple of weeks. Got the stamp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you bring up a good point, Rory. Uh, that Meg song. Was probably in the lead entering the summer, and she's on radio. Uh, she's on a radio run right now, and <clears throat> Kevin Lowes is with her. See, that tells me a lot. That tells me all I need to know about Meg and what's happening and what's going on. Yeah, they're invested. So that 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 gives me a little bias toward what her summer would look like. I guess is what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't. I don't see it tailing off. The song. No, I'm, I'm curious to see now. Going in, that was just my prediction, but I don't know yet. Fam, listen, when that other city girl come home. <laughs> nah, JT. <clears throat> I don't know if those songs would qualify for Song of the Summer, but uh, with like Act Up and shit, that shit. No, no. But no, they've no, been no, out no. for a little while. Absolutely so. not. Yeah. Great record. I just, it's way too before the summertime. Okay, fair enough. No, I was just but no, when JT come back, that first. Home, what's that, what that, what's that going to look like? Like, is it going to be like when Gucci and Boosie came home? Like how long is she up for? Yeah, uh, was it a year they, or something? They keep changing it. Oh, okay. I think November, but please don't quote me. Okay. I think November, she's out. We've never seen that before. Even I was just going to say, I don't Re- think we've ever we've seen never a female seen that. that was locked up. When Remy came, home, artist, she, like, I don't think she got. She received the love that I felt she should have received. Mm-hmm. She had to start rapping her ass off right, right, <laughs> right away. She had to have a hit. Like niggas wasn't just like, oh, Remy's here, it's on. Right. Um. When this girl come home, now is it different? Well, no, it's, 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 how, it different? it's how they caught, because the album that just came out, it caught that buzz right away, because this was before the Meg shit, and this was right at the start of women completely owning the past few months. Then she went away for everything she was rapping about, so that made a great story, yeah, and everyone awesome. was on top that's of always that. always dope. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, great. Oh, you you weren't story. lying. So do you think they're going to have to come with a new album when she gets home? I think by I that think time, that will be a year old. I think they're waiting specifically for her to come home. Right. And I think Shorty, what's her the other girl's name? I'm sorry. Young Miami. I think she's done a great job holding down the festivals alone, keeping yeah. the torch going. She has done yeah. a like, phenomenal I think she's been, job. I think she's done great. Alone. Like with her partner gone. Partner as in the person you're used to recording with, mm-hmm. the person you're used to bouncing ideas off of, the person you're used to performing with. That yeah. like you have done a phenomenal job holding that down. While, and they they were a new act going. into QC, so it's not like to be they had the support they, of the yeah, like, and they, people and, she's been with. And they said that as soon as that girl left, that home girl was going to drown and fall flat on the face. No, I she think I not. think her her and QC have done a great job of not doing too much and not doing too little. Keep yeah. keep hitting these festivals with the rest of the QC acts. We're yeah. going to shoot a great video with Cardi. Like, let's just keep it so. Just give the them momentum enough. keeps going. Give we don't have to enough. do too much. See yeah. what good management does because on a good team because QC is there, you can feel confident that when that young lady comes home, she will get straight to the studio and they'll immediately get to recording. 
versus what any artist would do if you just come home to your popping album. Yeah. You're 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 hitting the road, you're getting some money, you live in your life, you've been locked up for however long. Right. Yeah. I, I, I could see I could see them recording immediately. And and having that safety net And you of, gotta ride that wave. I'm riding that course. wave. And the safety net That's of how not Rory ended up liking trying. that Shine album uh, when he, that he recorded. Godfather Barry Alive is Rory great. is the only Fuck person I know that enjoys that <laughs> that Shine over the phone album. That shit from jail. Godfather we have alive. been fighting about that our entire friendship. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a, it was a, it wasn't bad. I know what hey, you're I saying though. You said it wasn't together. good. No, but it wasn't it wasn't bad. The, the way you're making it seem, I, I hate the. Fa- I know what you're saying. I know why you don't like it. But given everything that it took to do that album, it's really not that bad. I'm on board. It's already. not that bad. <laughs> But I know I know why Joe why doesn't. The, the snare don't, sounds don't, like it's in jail. Don't, 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 uh, it was yeah. all in jail. It was all over the phone. Don't give me the shit that Clue played. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I know that one. Yeah, that was a little jam in Queens. No, that was the single. Yeah, I know. Well, what, the what, Queen what, single. What, what else is on there? Come on, give me some more. Uh, Kevin Lowes gave that nigga something like $3 million to pick up the phone and do this. Damn. I could have killed Kevin Lowes. <laughs> gave you the Murder Inc. record in, in the hype. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Kevin Leor production of right course, here. Of course this, it is. This Kevin is Kevin Leor. and Leor trying to Joe, get he was in Clinton. From, so <laughs> what what, what you want him to do? The deal. Uh-huh. The, the deal came from... Oh, no. I guess it came after. But he had the momentum still. It's the momentum. Sony man. Oh, you know what? All right. Sony man. Sony man. <laughs> Sony man telling same, me same, about the momentum. Same thing we're talking about with Shorty from City Girls, except she only had a year on her sentence. Where they fucked up, Sean had 10 years. Like... Mm. <laughs> It's probably not going to work. That's not like one of them fuck-ups you recognize in hindsight. Like, we knew he was would be in there, <laughs> and they gave him $3 million. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's a little different. They You're not going to get a hit out of that. Yeah, how did... I, I guess they were oh, just making on the they probably I just, just like the album. They was making on album sales, and then they thought, like, maybe, oh, yeah, he recorded it from jail. Everybody's like, word, like, that's crazy. Nobody ever did that. And then run out and get the album. There's a reason. That no one ever did. Well, yeah, they know now. <laughs> they know now. Not the best acoustics. Yeah. What, what were we talking the about? The best before acoustics. Before what if your celly? Yo, yeah, what if your celly? Yo, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> <Your ad-libs. laughs> yo, Sean, shut the fuck up. Yeah, you trash, nigga. <laughs> First of all, Sorry. Sean Celly was not talking oh, to him like that. <laughs> oh, was no, nigga. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Celly was definitely not talking to him like that. <laughs> that punch must funny. have been rough. Why you think Sean was getting busy in there? I mean, you got to rep. But who you think was winning between him and Selly at the time? Probably him. What bunk you think he had? Whichever one he wanted. Okay. Both. <laughs> Yo, you on the floor. On the floor. Yeah. <laughs> See what, how I feel tonight. What bunk y'all ever had? Uh, thankfully, I never had to choose yeah, a bunk I haven't, in jail. Haven't had to do that. Joe slept under the bench, though. <laughs> No, I just took the available bunk. <laughs> no, that was the, the, floor. Bench, the regular bench was available. That's one thing. The third that, bunk. That's one thing that you learn having never have gone to jail. Like you don't have to have ever go, have gone to jail to know that you probably don't want to enter the fight for the bunk talk. No, <laughs> like, fam, no, no, I just no. came that's... from the Chinese store when I got arrested. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not they caught me on the way out. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. What I was you walking to doing. my car. Yeah. I was about to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever one you want, I'll yeah. be out of here. I'm still hungry, actually. <laughs> I'm starving. Um. Right, yo, it's funny. The the uh the one week that we're supposed to come in here and finally get into this raw shit, y'all want to keep talking about uh, cucumbers. <laughs> no, I, I, we we done with cucumbers. We can talk about the raw record though. All right, yeah, how y'all feeling? Give me some expert analysis. I haven't heard it yet. For real? I like it. Oh no, that's not true. I heard I heard. Uh, well, I most mean, of it. That shit's on. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> give me-
I wasn't blown away like everybody else was. That shit's hard. Yeah, it's a hard record. And yeah, that like Drake and Ross record is, I don't know how y'all don't like that record. I like that record. No, I'm talking about oh, John Rogan. Uh, don't like it. Wait, no, nah, I came right on here and said I liked it. Oh, I thought y'all said y'all didn't like it. No, I like that record. Oh, okay. I said that that's the lowest on the Drake Ross totem pole is what I, I don't said. Think so. so, all right. So, what's the lowest? I don't think that is. But he, but, but you comparing is. it? But okay, here's I'm here's why. No, no, listen. I'm, I'm I gonna answer. The lowest. I still like the. Record. I don't. But I don't know why y'all say that because I'm not comparing it to. The records they've done before. This to me is just another one of the records they have together that I think is super dope. Like I'm not comparing it to Dice Pineapples or uh, Lord Knows. Like I'm not comparing it. Like I'm just Free saying spirit too. this is like this Crazy. is just a dope record that another dope one that they have together. That's how I'm looking at it. I'm not comparing it. It's a different vibe, different played, sound. I've never played it. I've never gone back to it. Is what I'm saying. That record is hard. I have. That I record like is hard. Uh, but no, I like this Ross record. Uh, I think. It it was definitely a good response to the last sound they did. It, it got mm -hmm. me. <laughs> Ross needs to put this album out. Yeah, I'm with, I'm with uh, you. Uh, it's, th this ain't it. Enough of I'm this. With you. Uh, enough. Enough of Lucy and us to death. <laughs> and well, every Lucy band. Because I, 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 I wanted I wanted to be able to go from that last night to the next record. Yeah, every right. Lucy is a different direction. I don't this, like this. Isn't how a, they it's drop not a single. Music. And nor was the other one. I mean, I'm going to go back to the same thing I said when we talked about the first single. Just we give don't me the need album. to talk about <laughs> singles because when he tried to the put album. the single out, we we didn't fuck with the single, or not we. But do you think I don't think artists need singles anymore? I'm sorry, the way we consume music now and the way we listen to music, I don't think the single matters the because now it does for specific artists. That. Yeah. Well, the even is but the even one well, the labels that. That, they don't need to. You don't need to fish for a single anymore. If I'm spending all the money in your project, you're not going to tell me what. I, no, you get better get no, a single. No, but record. But that's but that's. That's part of the problem. That's an old ideology in music. Just because you're spending the money doesn't mean I can't tell you how things have changed now and the way people consume music and the songs that they'll gravitate towards. No, no, no. It's true. Because I'm, it was I'm a difference back then. The because label psyche. Yeah, but that's what they have to change their psyche. Is what to I'm what? saying. To, to spend yo, all we the have money an artist. And let you do no, what listen, you want. We have an artist. He's he's known. The people know him. They're waiting for his music. They're waiting for it. They want it. It doesn't matter what Pull the first Rick record Ross's, is. Uh, album it, sales it, it, from his last three it, albums. By the way, and, and it, it doesn't matter Republican because now when guy. people are streaming the album, they're going to show you which record is the hot ones because they put the star right like, next to I it. Know, like, Roy, I agree. You're right. I sound like a Republican in the stances <laughs> that y'all take, but I understand it. <laughs> no, no, I, I do too. I totally do too. I, I don't. But I know. I also to what I'm all saying, I think specific artists can do that. The younger ones, no, they got to play the streaming well, game. Well, yeah, if you if they got to Ross, I just think he's at a point in his career, and I think you can invest less money with Ross now with his relationships that but, he doesn't need to spend a bunch of money. But Rory, just put the album out. Here's why I say it doesn't matter anymore. Because say you're the label and y'all agree that this record should be a single, right? When the record streams in the first few days, there's going to be stars next to the ones that people are playing and streaming the most. Well, if it's not, it a might be records. Well, 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 I second. hate to break it to you, and I hate that y'all make me to be this person on this podcast. Rick Ross is not such a high streaming act. But uh, but this is what I'm saying. Though. Okay, so even if he's not, even if you feel like he's not a high streaming act, now, what I'm I feel like don't put that on me. I, These are facts. Okay, well, <laughs> if that's yeah, the I don't fact, think that's right? Unpopular, but I don't you can see to, it. But, like, but listen, even if that, even if that's a fact, what I'm saying is a fact. People are gonna find records on the album that they like, and they're gonna keep playing those records. And those records will pop up on your iTunes with stars next to them. Yeah. And that'll let you know, like, these, this is the record that people are loving. It may be a record that nobody at the industry even thought people would so, get, gravitate right, towards. So, great. That happens. Then what? They pick the, all right, the record, star, you show me, I see which one is streaming. All right, now what happens next, Mom? Walk me through it. Then I think the label should be like, okay, this is the one they like. Let's let's if we don't have a visual visual ready for that, I let's put out a video. I'm for also that. not going to put all the ownership on the labels for uh, deciding single. Maybe Ross wants to put singles out. Like he might have a say in that. Like let's not I'm, just. No, put he all definitely of them. has a say in it. Ross Ross didn't lead out with green Gucci suit. Ross did not lead out with green Gucci suit on his own merit. That was a but why? That why you say that? I could see Ross wanting to yeah, throw I, that I record see, out. I could why see not? Leading, I could see him throwing it out. Yeah. Okay. Which I think he did. Okay. If it caught traction, yeah, it's I'm, my single I'm, now. I'm open. I'm open to that. Mm -hmm. Maybe he did. What was the next record to go out? The last joint. Yeah, with Wale. Do y'all think that was Ross's idea too? Uh, I think Ross just wanted to put the album out at that point. I hate having music conversations. I think with I swear I, to God. Why? Is that? Why? Because people don't agree with you? No, no, no. Because do you understand? Great that you think Ross put those two records out. But, I think Ross you know, has I'm more control over his music than you think he does. 
What, you said you don't think he did? I think Ross just wanted to put the album out. I think Ross is... All right, enough of what y'all saying. There's a reason that these song, songs that sound this way sonically are going out first. There's a reason There's a reason for, for everything. He's, I know. I don't think the reason is just Ross in Atlanta and his Holyfield mansion saying this is the one because I agree with you. I feel like Ross does think he could just put an album out. I agree with you. No, I'm saying I think when you say as far as picking the songs, I think Ross has more control over that than maybe you may, might think he has because you keep going to the label wanting to push a single and all that. I think Ross has more control over what record Green goes Gucci out. Green Gucci suit sounds like a label product. I'm open to being wrong. Mm-hmm. You say it might have been no, Ross. No, so I think, when you, I so think you're when, both Wait, right. wait. Then when I hear the next record, mm-hmm. then when I hear the next record, and I think about that in totality, it's like, oh, all right, that didn't work. Okay, we here now with this one. Cool. And then I know how the machine works. So we're not going to keep putting records out that are not catching. So now go ahead and put your street record out. You put an album out. We put an album out now no matter what. Mm-hmm. So... I'm feeling like Ross just wanted to put an album out. So, no, I don't think that the nigga that I feel like had his album done a long time ago has just been sitting waiting for Green Gucci Suit and that Wale record to catch. And I can't believe that y'all don't even attempt to understand what I'm saying. Well, he didn't have it. It wasn't done that long ago. He had a lot of records. He had had a few records that were done, but he didn't have the whole whole album done a long time ago. Here's why I think you're both right. Here's why I think you're both right. Because I think that, yes, Ross just wanted to put an album out. He, it was done. Let me just put this shit out. I think I'm one of those artists. I don't need to do this shit. I think he has control. I think the label just said, yo, we're not just putting your album out. Mm-hmm. Pick a single. Mm-hmm. I think Ross picked the singles. Mm-hmm. I think he picked the Wale record mm-hmm. and this one to mm-hmm. go out. I just don't think he wanted to put them out as singles, mm-hmm. if that makes so any sense. So you don't want me to believe that a man who I deem to have one of the greatest ears in hip-hop history... Okay. is purposely picking these records to represent his entire new body of work? Green yeah. Gucci suit and the Wale record? But he's yeah. also the okay. nigga that I, makes I, I, some I, of the I, best B- projects he's also, he's also business savvy like let's not take that away from him he's making and these records with the intent to business have savvy them. would be alright I'm not putting that out I don't think so what did it do for him it didn't work so what did it do well, for him? This just came out, so let's not say it didn't work. Yeah, it but, didn't work. What did it? Oh, I'm shutting up, man. Because this is how you I said it been. didn't work. But Joe, you're, you're acting Zoom like work. oh, you talking about? No. But you're acting like his we're previous about, singles weren't like last this. Night. Like it's not I like he put leave. out Santorini Greece as a single for the last one before the album came out. No, you know what he did put out the fucking Ty Dolla Sign record that was amazing on that other album. Even that Usher song that didn't work. Whoa, it was people killed that record. Finish. I don't care what they kill. I'm just talking about how it sounds. I'm not going on whether it worked or not. I'm talking about how something sounds sonically. That green well, no, Gucci started suit record worked. is not magnificent. It's not that Usher. Come on. Y'all know what the no, fuck I, I'm It's not I, that I'm, Usher I'm a, record. I'm agreeing with you. We know what a Ross record sounds like okay. when he's leading out and he's looking for that bop. Because we've heard it for 10 years. Mm-hmm. That's why I don't think this is out of his wheelhouse to put out that trap oh, shit okay, first so the and only- then try to put out the Just Blaze shit. He's done it mad. He's mm-hmm. done this exact formula mad times. Okay, this so exact one. So then that's the only difference is in how we are hearing these records and perceiving these records to you uh, I'm not talking about what's good and what's not I'm talking about the formula right right in the if, if a label is now telling me fuck alright you have to put out singles like we're not just putting your album out I'm going back to the formula that I've used and let me just, uh, just qualify by saying I have zero idea what any label is saying to anybody I'm, I'm freestyling and arguing with my friends <laughs> uh, please don't take this information as fact or anything. <laughs> I don't know what niggas are saying now. all facts <laughs> but no I, I can't and I'm going to say again, the label label's did just wrong in putting this shit out. I, I have Give it. me the part. Oh, because how could you? Uh, so the last album did like 100, uh, the one that had all the Bink records on it. Uh, rather you than me. The, yeah, rather than you, you than me. Uh, Black, 100 what? 100. Yeah. No, uh, I thought I saw Ross did 156 first week? I thought I saw 106. No, this is total, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Total, right. total, oh, total. I was talking about first week. I'm Ross didn't do 156 first week. I want total. Week. No, no. Uh, the album before that How can was, that be true? The album before oh, that was 65 true. Black Market was 65 I'm, I want totals though Parks is doing first week Yeah but the totals are from Three years ago on all these sites So I, I still just want the totals Okay I, I, I want to know what, what the label has seen If the last three projects have gone gold I want to know that the label saw that Because maybe then I can understand What Maul is saying But I don't think that a gold or almost gold act for the last however many projects is getting the amount of leeway 
that Maul thinks he gets. I don't think that they went gold. No, they did not. And I don't, I don't think Maul. I don't think no, so Maul. Either. No, no. Maul saying he has more control on the records he wants to put out. So if a label is telling him you have to put a single out, Ross, we're not putting your album out. Ross can pick those records. I don't think he's giving that over to the label, and they're going, "Well, let's go with this record." Okay, yeah, so definitely I'll, I'll, not. I'll end with if, if whoever's picking those records, I think that, that those are probably bad leadoff records. Uh, I don't, I don't disagree with you there. I'm positive they, they wouldn't be my leadoff. Is, his album's going to sound great, and there's going to be shit on there that we all would have loved to hear sooner than the records that he gave up. Yeah. I, I e why I think Ross in this point in his career should just put an album out. Stop, even, stop even, leaving even, records. Even yeah, this, certain even, records. Uh, even, stop certain artists records. should just even put Even this out. record now here that we all going crazy over, I, well, that everybody else is going crazy over. I think part of my problem with that is I know when that beat was made. Hmm. Yeah. That's why it took me a second that to get into it. That lines me right into me thinking that he had this album done when I think he had it done. Like, it just leads me into... Two. How many songs do you think he has on Port of Miami, too? 16. Uh, 14, 15. Yeah, I'm in that range. I'm in 14, 15 range. He probably did a lot more than that, though. Oh, no, I'm sure he has. He's been recording 100. for two years, so... Plus. Listen, and I'm coming in here talking just, just, for, just because we have a podcast and we have to talk, but at my age, at 38... There's not too many albums that I even look forward to dropping. So, and Ross is one of those people for me. Uh, mm. And I guess that's why I'm sounding how I'm sounding. I look forward to, to, to a Ross album. Me too. I could probably count. It's probably, the, damn, one day I'm going to try to count. Ross, Meek, Drake, Cole, Kendrick. How many, how many? Five people, right? We're talking about like the regularly active guys. Just the people that not like you're looking for them. If like most put something out. Right. No, no, no. no I'm not active, 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 active people gotcha. that okay. I'm, I'm checking for that. I don't have to hear a song that's hot. I don't have to yep. hear word of mouth about it being hot. I'm going to that when it come out. I'll decide for myself. Probably less than 10. Yeah, that's reasonable. That's nasty. I think I have uh, that's nasty. Is it though? I think it's nasty. Um, I don't think it is because... As far as albums you and old, artists that you anticipate? Old say that. Yeah, like, I disgusting. think there were still in, in older eras that you would probably say around that same number. Well, it's like, you know what I compare no it to? In the 90s? I, in the 90s, I was checking for the Fugees. I was waiting for them. I was waiting for Hove. I was waiting for Nas. I was waiting and for And you also Dave. have to add in the amount of volume those Man. artists came out. I was out. waiting for Wu-Tang. I was waiting for EPMD. I was waiting for Keith Murray. But Joe, it, it, I, I compare it... L. I compare it to... Shit, I was waiting for Lloyd for that. Well, I, for, you also right. changed the argument from a whole ten year span to one year right now. But no, fine. but I compare it. I always compare this shit to having like two hundred pairs of sneakers. You could have the most extensive sneaker collection in the no, world. I'm doing this decade too. You're, you're only gonna keep the going to maybe ten mm-hmm. pairs of sneakers. Oh, right. I would like to have that. You understand what I'm saying? Like yeah. you're gonna keep going to maybe ten. Right. That you consistently wear, right. but you have two hundred, and that's what I look at the music industry now. It's music coming out all the time. It's Artists coming out, it's everywhere. But it's like you you have your ones that you like. I'm only gonna really probably rotate these these oh, yeah. twelve pairs of sneakers. I, I download six albums a week, but I only keep one of them. Probably. This is this is what Two. I'm saying. I, it's the same for me. I do that a lot more now too. I hit the trash button, yeah, or yeah. delete, and move. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you you don't go you don't go back to it. My problem is the yeah. iPhone only lets you store a certain amount that it'll show you in the iTunes. So yeah, like, yeah, that you try to off. go back to like J- January releases and it's gone. It's, it's so you gone, gotta yeah. keep trimming shit. Yeah, um, I just this era of music doesn't last as long to me. That's all. But yeah. again, that could be the age that I'm listening to it. No, but it's a, to, a, to a kid it's ten years younger than me, maybe this is resonating with him. These albums are resonating with him more than they would me at my age. I know life is happening while we're in it, so it can pass us by sometimes. But we're six months from 2020. Mm-hmm. How do we think music is going to start sounding in like 2023? Um, I don't think it'll be. It, I think I think another subgenre of hip hop will be isn't created. It time for it's the, already happening before. Isn't I think. it time? That's what I'm saying. Isn't it time for the new act at home to to wonder these things as well? Like the new act at home shouldn't be planning to, to sound like anything. And yeah. this and whatever's happening right now, because that it shouldn't be here soon. Well, I mean, that's what separates the good. That's what separates the Travis Scotts from all his younger peers when he came out. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm, I'm going to make music that doesn't sound like everyone else's and start a new genre, i.e. with the help of some other big artists. But mm-hmm. yeah, there's there's a Travis Scott somewhere sitting there at 16 a, right now that's, yeah. that's thinking there's, that way. There's always going to be one artist that's going to 
create a new style and new sound and it only takes it will one birth a whole new yeah it only takes the way one people artist. hop on trends it takes one artist yeah. what new uh, what new waves or ways to do this music thing do we think will exist in 2023 but what new ways to right right hey they they hoard out all the marketing and promotion to the point where we just got to drop albums secretly now but in 2023 this right here mm mm-hmm. Studios are getting smaller and smaller and in different places every single day. Mm-hmm. This phone right here. Not in three years. Not in 2023. Shit, maybe. But Records are getting done off the phone right now. Fam. Yeah. It's going to take a plug-in to a phone with a microphone next to some headphones. Dude, and you could be in it, any uh, place and you're going to make that shit sound I think crystal it, I clear. I think it's Steve Lacey that did the uh, record on the last Kendrick album. He did his shit. He does all his shit on an iPhone. Yeah. Plugs I'm saying like actually right like literally shit. record your whole. No, he does. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I'm I think he's saying common practice. Oh, right. Yeah, not Where Steve everybody Lacey, who's Steve extremely Lacey. talented. Right. right. 2023, 24, uh, Joyner Lucas hologram might come out the phone and, and do the dual sided video. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think we're far off that. from that. We're not. We're definitely not. I know, but no. I mean, you have apps now that you can do. You it. Stop to <laughs> think about us just being maybe four or five years removed from. Some wild shit happening. Still, when we have these talks, Buster Rhymes is screaming in my head, there's only five years left. <laughs> like, yeah. This is it's just wild when you think about it. That's all. Yeah. Um, yo, while we on music, man, um, let, me, let me cue up an apology. I got an apology ready to send one out. Oh, Daniel Caesar, I came in here last week and I said some things. And mind you, I'm only apologizing because when I was a rapper, I used to hate that media didn't do this. Like... Sometimes media would come in and they would ask about albums. Oh, I ain't hear that shit. And then you would never get back to it. Like, damn, I just worked nine months on that. <laughs> well, before you start that, that's why I really feel bad about all the people producing Netflix shows. Fam, if I'm spending two years of my life to make 14 hours of TV that you do in one day. Yeah. I'm pissed. That would be kind of. Yeah. Yeah. I I'm agree. pissed off. <laughs> I agree. So I came in here last week and gave a, a half ass review of Daniel Caesar because I half ass heard it. And there's nothing half-ass about my platform, and I don't want to be irresponsible with it. What an amazing album! <laughs> he's, a, he's an artist. That's a great, great. What a fucking sophomore album! Yeah. And I was telling Rory, you know, part of the reason why I came in here and 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 I don't think bullshit it that way or, or slept. I don't know what to call it. Uh, one the influx of music, all that music that came out. Uh, that was a lot of music. I don't, I don't think I, I can't come off a of red and get right into Daniel and what he, the, the vibe he's giving me just sounded real different. One and well, two. It's what we talked about. The types of different genres that came out on that Friday were so different. They were all over the like place. Like it's tough yeah. to really get into it. Yeah, album. but Chris has given me songs that I could get in my car and blast and alone and be angry at someone, even if I'm not angry. <laughs> Daniel okay. Caesar. Like, I don't, I'm not angry. <laughs> no, no, you can't be no, angry listening to no, Daniel Caesar. Wanna, if you're angry listening yeah. to Daniel Caesar, you need to <laughs> yeah, seek some help. No. It's not Daniel Caesar. Yeah, it's not him. It's, it's, it's you. It's you. Yeah. It's me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that Daniel, he, he, man. Oh, and that's the other thing. Uh, because so much music drops, like now I have this tendency of just skimming through things sometimes. Mm. And... Music is so low quality today that a lot of times you can get away with skimming through and and hearing the quality you of got, a you project. Got the album. Daniel Caesar is not one of those artists, and this is not one of those albums. So everything that Rory said last week that I fucking disagreed with him on is absolutely right. Man, talk about the production on this thing. Yeah. They switch shit all over the place. Like, mm-hmm. you got to sit and listen to it. You can't just... So Daniel Caesar, my apologies... What a fucking album. Ah! Yeah, I think the only thing I didn't mention, because I obviously re-listened to it a few more times. Uh, I love that he didn't try to over-sing on this one. Okay. I think I think uh, on the first one, he kind of had something to prove of, of being this real vocal talent, which he is. Yeah, you did. I didn't get that he, he over-tried on this one, and it kind of fell in a really dope pocket where I got to really understand what he was talking about on each record mm-hmm. rather than running non-stop on, on certain records just to show yo I can sing better than y'all right mm-hmm. um, and I, I got that from this album a lot yeah I gotta go back and uh, re-listen no it's, it's a good project it sounded good when I was on the plane I just wasn't in that space <laughs> not with the jeans on 
jeans on the jeans plane, on the plane with the I just, listening yeah. to the Daniel. <laughs> no, that's not, that's not the vibe. Where's my shit at? I just oh, here we go. Right. Oh my God. Dude. I've never been empathetic on LSD. That is not me. He tried to get in his LSD bag on. LSD makes you feel the opposite of. I was never. Let me think. Empathetic? Yeah. (laughs) I never took LSD. Kind of one of the regrets of my life. August. (laughs) (laughs) Summertime's a good time to trip, man. I don't know what to tell you. No, I still want to do some type type of psychedelic shit out in the desert Mm. one time with my friends. Anywhere that's, that's part of my bucket list. Outdoors is the best place to do. That's it. really on brand for you, anyway. Yeah. Well, no, the first time I did shrooms was in the city, and I saw my eighth grade teacher and her daughter. And to this day, I have not seen her since, and I don't know what I said. <laughs> and I went to a public park, and the police s- searched us in like the top of the fucking trip. It was the worst shit ever. And then my friend said his birthday was September 11th, and I never knew that. And I started dying laughing because <laughs> he said his birthday was September. It was a long. It was a long thing the first time I tripped on shrooms yeah the first time I did them was at a festival it was great I was 16 I was 17 or 18 <laughs> did y'all hear everything he just said yeah oh that was like half okay. of what happened yeah. just making sure yeah. all right <laughs> do you guys ever, uh, ever I also have this weird like theory that I'm gonna wake up in that park and be 16 again but do you ever just story. drink water <laughs> no drink water yeah, yeah nah that shit don't I, make you trip I, y'all drink water <laughs> Yeah, nah. The fuck nah. is fun in that? Here. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Just ask it. Just try to see where the room is at. <laughs> so no one else has like a cool trip story? Make I never did sound shrooms. Crazy. No, I, I want to try it though. I've done... I never yeah, did it. I ate a lot of shrooms. That's why Maul appears to be so cool. He's never done really any of the cool stuff. <laughs> I don't know if drugs are cool, but... What? There's a whole campaign that's like the biggest campaign ever to yeah, tell us how uncool cool. Cool they are. <laughs> Word. No, I don't know. Which if, clearly makes them cool. I don't know if yeah. LSD is cool. I'm not. Uh, I don't LSD know is about pretty that. cool. I see some niggas you take ever that seen shit. The fucking leaves move. Yeah, yeah I see some niggas nah, take nah, LSD. Nah, and it. And never come back. Like drugs is cool. I've when seen you some, see the I trees talking to the heroin and shit. I don't know. Psychedelic drugs. Sorry. You see the ceiling? No, I want to. I want to try shrooms. I want to try it. Like I've I've met a bunch of people. Let's go to the desert, man. August. What's in August? The, the shroom trip. Fellow <laughs> shroom trip. Are we planning a shroom trip? No, no. no I don't know if we... Well, wait. Because from what I've been told from shrooms, I don't think everybody is supposed to take it. That's, what? No. The I one think person that wasn't people, taking that in our crew was the enemy. Nah, we can't take it together. I'm one of you niggas start touching me. I'm That's what y'all. I'm saying. Like, I don't think everybody's supposed to be on it. I think, shrooms? You took yeah, shrooms of Viagra? No. I was never trying to touch my mans no. on shrooms. Shit, yeah, no, I don't yeah, know about that. But shrooms. I'm just saying. I don't, think, I don't think we should all be on shrooms just <laughs> Who hanging your out. Who is dealer? I got you, babe. Yes. I got you, honey. <laughs> Don't be progressive. <laughs> Told me it was progressive. No, not that progressive. Uh, now you don't want to do shrooms? No, no, no. I want to do shrooms. I don't know if I want to do it with a bunch of my homeboys. Now, nah. who you want to do? That's it with? the best I do it. No, you gotta like, you gotta like talk to people on yeah, shrooms. Yeah. Do it at like a festival is is the move. You want, you want to do shrooms? No, I heard you the first time. Report. <laughs> I heard you the first time. Did you say the front of Bleacher Report? <laughs> he wanted to do shrooms at Bleacher Report. <laughs> you are a creep. That is a sports I just said I want to. I never said that. I just said I want to try shrooms. Shoot at the court. I don't know if I want to be with a bunch of my homeboys trying shrooms. That's all I said. Oh, man. No, we you got to. No, it's not really like a romantic drug like ecstasy. No, it's not. Like, not even close. Yeah. It's you should do opposite. it with people that are close to you. Yeah. And I wouldn't do it with women because I don't know what you do with women on shrooms. And this podcast does not condone the usage of drugs. Absolutely. Uh, Drug free is the way to be. Yeah. 
Good so, luck selling that. <laughs> listen, man. Good luck selling that hat. Cucumbers are all they're always right there. <laughs> they're everywhere. They're always right there looking they're at everywhere. you. They're always right there. <laughs> Uh, nah, that Daniel Caesar shit is hard. Let me get that out of the way. Uh, and that's all I got. That's all I got. I didn't want to shit on him last week after he made such a great album. Did y'all listen to the new uh, Dreamville records? I didn't get a chance no, to I didn't know. get into that yet. They have one like real long posse cut. Like How many did they put out today? Two. Two? Okay. They're a little two-piece. They keep putting out these twofers, right? Yeah. So I don't know which one is new. I just listened to all of them. Yeah. I, well, I listened to the Thai Ari... Cause yeah, that was the last Dreezy one. one with the other posse cut. This one's got uh, just mad. I, I couldn't even list it. I don't even show everyone can that you, was can in you the play studio. A piece of it. Uh, yeah, where's the? Uh, Give him a little thing. I'm a jiggy him. Okay. The Guap Dad, Reese LaFlair, uh, Ski Mask, The Slump God, Smoke Perp, Jace, Mez, J.I.D. Uh, did I already say? I said Guap Dad already, right? Yeah. Uh, Reese. There's mad people on this shit. Literally 10, 10 people. This is why I listen to R&B, because I could tell what beat is dope in R&B and what beat is not dope. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting a little more difficult. Uh, to, uh, I don't know what beat is doing what in hip hop. Sean, Sean, Big Sean beat. would smoke that beat. I hate that beat. Big Sean would smoke that beat. I'm boy. not saying that the beat is trash. I just hate that beat. <laughs> uh, Reason was on the other one. They've uh, had a Reason few and beats. That I'm, I'm a little. Con- I heard that record. Yeah, it's dope. All right, but fuck what y'all saying. Don't try to talk over me saying that some of these beats is funny. Agree. Somebody agree. No, it's, I mean, it, I agree with you that it's more I, I, difficult to tell now because it's, it's much easier to make beats now. I like, would agree if... It bangs. If Parks didn't, didn't name didn't all it. those names that were on there that that's they shit. Right. <laughs> like, I, if he named a whole bunch of yeah. other people, I would have been like, well, that's probably not the beat right. for them. This song reminds me of that whole uh, Beast Coast project where it's like, there's so many people rapping, I can't even distinguish what's what. It's the One Blood remix. I hate that beat. <laughs> One Blood Remix was two days long. <laughs> and the beat was so hard you didn't care. Yeah, I didn't give a fuck. You could have let that beat rock for 18 minutes. Got back minutes. in the car so and she was still playing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, these kids can rap too, but no, yeah, I don't know God. who's who. Except for like J.I.D., who I know. Yeah, because the fucking beat is confusing. <laughs> <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Them, uh, we double, we double the time in and my slow bopping. <laughs> <laughs> like, what am I doing right why now? you weren't invited. Project. That's why you didn't get a yellow flyer. The whole project comes Friday. Oh, okay. Which, yeah. if it's going to be a lot of this, it's going to be a, a difficult listen. Just to me, because I'm don't, i not familiar with all the artists. So, hearing 10 different artists on every single song is going to be like... Fam, I, let, listen, me, let me tell I know you the, You're right going to look now, at the track list, and they, you're going to know the records that you want to go to. Yeah. For the people that are in this room, I can't speak for the rest oh, of the world. I'm about to say, you're going to know the records you're going to love. I'm, I'm, I'm not it's, listening it's to It's not going to be a hard <laughs> album to navigate. I was about to say, I just found out who everybody was that I'm, was singing on Heal the World. So I, I'm, not, I'm not ready for a rap 10, 10 rappers on we're, one track we're all the same whole album. Yeah, It's like fam I don't know who everyone is I just found out who was on Heal the I'm World I'm not sure yeah. I can give you everybody in self-destruction right now No we are the world Not Heal the World Heal yeah. the World was Michael Jackson Yeah I mean, I'm just gonna let you rock out Yeah nah, I, 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 I knew I understood what, I, 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 I know what you Of course yeah. Fellas listen I, I know when I turn it on Hey over. Dreamville Don't try and sneak all them other niggas on some whack beat And think I'm gonna listen to it That ain't gonna work You better give me boss uh, <laughs> J.I.D. J.I.D. Who them other niggas I like a lot? Oh, no, I need some. Uh, what's homegirl I like? Ari, Ari need yeah. some of her. Uh, J. Cole. That would help. Well, yeah, I don't, yeah, a little Cole help. I wouldn't count him, but <laughs> sure. Cole, you better be on some of them songs. <laughs> hey, wait a minute now. He in his executive, he in his executive oh, bag. Hey, I see a video going around of uh, J.I.D. and them letting you hear something and you getting hyped. I ain't see a video of J.I.D. letting you hear something 
and you going in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't get that video. I didn't. It may. It might be coming. It's, it's only coming. Wednesday. Yeah, he definitely. He definitely is on the album for sure. No, of course he's on the album. He got. Don't, he got don't a verse. him on multiple records. I know. Jay Cole, on don't you try to fucking executive me to death this album. You get about sixteen total bars. <laughs> Cole nah, he, wouldn't do that to us. No, nah, he got like a 64 on there. That's just different. one. Yeah, okay, he's got one 64. Just one. Then, uh, uh, no, 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 no. The, the shit, nah, the shit I heard, there was more Cole. I don't know what's going to make it. Oh, the shit I heard. Yeah, I always hate when the artists be like, I'm going to let my young boys get them. No, no, we want you to. <laughs> no, we want you to. No, get us <laughs> two. Yeah, get us two. <laughs> like, we want get you to two, get bro. us two. Like, nah, I'm going to let my young boys have it. No, 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 we want, we want, we want, the, want the big dog. <laughs> we don't just want the young pups. We want the big dog, too. You know, I see how Rory gave him that. He already heard it. I, we talked about it on the Listen, podcast. That's already. a deeper darker. You don't even want to call it. Don't call it. That's not for his industry ranking, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, no, I said on the podcast, JID was a star on everything I heard, and Cole has a verse on there that's different than any Cole verse I've heard. Hmm. That I hope makes it. Hmm. I just can't imagine it would. He was rapping in Spanish. No, he was not rapping in Spanish. Uh. Whenever you hear a song and somebody starts rapping in Spanish, do you? <laughs> I can't keep up. <laughs> you gonna be on mommy Benaki. <laughs> no, I'm cool with the Benakis. I wanna I, be a Palm Beach look. I'm cool see? with the Poppies. I'm cool with the Benaki. I get lost pretty easily after that, though. <laughs> that's, a, that's it. That's where they lose you right after that. <laughs> I just can't keep up, man. I hear you. It sounds good. I just don't know what's going on. Do the beats get different? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't say that was represents sounded like anything I heard. I didn't hear that one. Oh, okay. That's probably not on there. It might not be. Don't These could that. be Lucy's. I mean, yeah, you never know. They, they recorded fun, yeah. so much shit. I could see them making all yeah, this shit Lucy's. I could see that. That's true. Especially the posse cuts. I could see yeah. them not wanting that beat on It's there. all been posse I, cuts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Joe killing that. You don't like that beat? That wasn't, that wasn't, you ain't doing it for you? Somebody on this podcast has to not like something. <laughs> you don't like anything. Uh, thank you. So I play my role. No, you well. do. No, no, no. You do like some things. You do like some things. He likes Chris Brown. Yeah. Oh, you know. Who doesn't? That's about it. Uh, that's it. I thought he was going somewhere. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I just said something wrong. I ain't gonna... All right. Uh, Lost Tapes 2. We got a date. We got a track list. If we're still we staying in music, too. unless we want to go back to Cucumbers. We I don't know what we want to do. It's been 17 years coming, right? How long has this? Uh, <laughs> yeah, how long have these tapes been lost? <laughs> yeah, they just found them after 16 uh, years, I think. They were between 10 and 2 years it's old. It's fucked up. We I've, can't get no jokes off during a Nas segment because they think we ate Nas. All right, and first we, of all, we, we put that to bed a no, long time ago. Everyone we all relax. Love Nas. You're not going to get at me about hearing the Dreamville project. And Parks was like, no, they were actually 2 to 10 years old if that's I'm looking I, through the track list. Yeah, no, fuck all y'all. Room. Well, Parks I'm mixed tired of shit. I didn't mix albums. <laughs> Parks just roll with the lies sometimes. <laughs> Come on, let Rory and Parks get in there. Nas bag. I mean, shit. No, I'm gonna be that guy. I'm, I'm gonna be that guy you, from from the track know. list. I saw the producer list. I'm excited. Yeah, three Pete Rocks, two Rizzas. Lost freestyle with Static. I'm excited. And I'm on board with the track list. Yeah. Not a lot of features. Love that part. Yeah. I'm on board. I'm listening. I'm a Nas fan. Yeah. I've been waiting for this album for years. So. Right. I don't care who produced what. It doesn't, none of that matters. I was listening in. Gosh, that shit get, matters to me. You'll never get takes like these. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't have anything to take off of it. We haven't heard anything. Joe, right. all, all, yo, Lost Tapes 2 is to be the worst fucking album of the year. Like, that's what well, he wants well, out of this podcast. That would spice things up a little bit. Yeah, but you... We, uh-huh, we, you want we not, on the ledge? No. Not, no. Not that ledge. Fucking chumps. What is he doing? <laughs> yeah, I wanted to watch this, though. Why? Cause, because I remember this beef. This is about the uh, the beef behind the eating competition. I think it was Joey versus look whoever. At, look at us as, as Americans. Look what, we, <laughs> look what we like to watch. Look Am I American? Like dude eating hot dogs? Are you American? I'm fine. I might be fighting that. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> what you, where you think you was born at? Uh, what that mean? Oh. Where did you pay taxes this okay. year? Oh, no. I know where. <laughs> I know where all that's happening. What that mean? So? You American, bro. What's your passport say? Uh, USA. I, that means I'd be over there. <laughs> <laughs> that's not how passports work. Everybody's <laughs> everybody's not American until they go to a country that's like really like not poverty stricken, <laughs> and they're like, "I'm from America. This is a travesty. I want ice. We just want some ice in our drink." <laughs> but we're not Americans, though. And don't give me. Th- I'm not going to turn this into that podcast. Well, 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 I mean, how if you're you going not, down but, but further not years not ago, are you sovereign. I, and I think this is the United States of America. Parks that we're in. and Rory, when we move, because we, we're moving to Africa, mm-hmm. 
Okay. And I'm down. Not against it. Yeah, because all right, all right. Podcast lives on. Then <laughs> I was worried. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know how I was going to introduce it to you guys. All yo, right. Yeah, remember we talked about up. LA. It's nah, going to be just nah, like that, but yeah, a little word. different. Last week, uh, Kerry Hilson had tweeted. Uh, there are more and more people, uh, more and more people getting fascinated with picking up, just moving everything to Africa. And I was going to reply because that has been uh, a conversation that I've been having. Uh, recently. Yeah, we saw Belly. <laughs> Yo, can we, let's get back to cucumbers. <laughs> come on, yeah. come on. What's, what, do you, do what you think if you ever like what pitched, supermarket has the best ones? Do you think you've ever pitched to your wife the way Nas pitched to T Boz about picking up and leaving and going to another continent that it would ever work with a woman? Yeah, that was horrible. Yo, <laughs> let's just do it, T. Yeah, but you got you got a lot of. But T Boz did look like the chick you could tell anything to. <laughs> nah, yeah, no, don't do that. Wait, didn't he have a, don't, don't didn't he have a bullet in his leg? And didn't I was about go to, to say hospital? y'all skipping over like key points. It was like thirty niggas in her crib just like ten minutes ago. He walks in, shot in the leg <laughs> without going to the hospital. Yeah, like it's, it's more attractive when you hold it down. Nah, nah, <laughs> no. we out of here. <laughs> we out. Holding it down nah, back she then. was ready to leave. She seen them thirty niggas in her living room. She was like, yeah, you know what? <laughs> Africa, Africa, Africa don't sound nice. Yeah, Africa sounds nice. Yo, let's just do it. Yo. Nas is acting in bellies. <laughs> it's the greatest thing. Nobody ever. has ever answered the biggest fucking question out of that belly movie. At the at the end, when T Boz went to see Shorty in jail, mm-hmm. that CO, was that a man or a woman? <laughs> wait, I need, wait, hold I on. Know, I wait, hold on. Me, wait, Method Man Method Man takes Fam. seven rounds to the stomach. No, no, no. Runs into a car and lives, and your biggest question is what the gender of a CO was? <laughs> no. Y'all have, because everybody didn't peep that. Go to that scene toward the end of the movie. I hate when Rory and Maul go out over the weekend. <laughs> Fam, <laughs> y- nobody has ever saying. answered me. Is that a man or a Yo, woman? You know what niggas never figured out? <laughs> Fam, that is the biggest mystery Yo. in that entire movie. <laughs> niggas don't know if that was a male or, or a female. <laughs> And every that. time I watch it, I'm sitting there like. I think we have Savon here to <laughs> Savon. Did I MDB up for yeah, us? I'm, yo, I know. I know I'm not the only one that that is yo, baffled look up by for that. CO I know seven. Yeah. And see what I the know I'm not. <laughs> Fam, that was. A, <laughs> I just don't remember more. I'm just going to. All right, well, watch it. Next time you watch it, just remember what I said. Next time, I have I'm mad. Next time you watch it, mad other questions. I watch that movie anytime it's on. Honestly, yeah, I love Belly. Did y'all? That's one of the like bad good movies. Yeah, it is. It's a bad for sure. Did y'all see um? There's a new uh, belly confession too. tapes on on uh, no not belly two. <laughs> Nor would I be coming in here to say hey. <laughs> did you hear the new belly two is coming? I think no, like, no, no, belly two is came out already. Game is the the lead Wait. character. <laughs> you never saw that? I thought we killed that on here before. Yeah, I thought we belly two about. was. Yeah, I never saw it. I you just, pull your belly out? Yeah, he pulled his belly. That's belly three. <laughs> 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 that was better than Belly 2 actually though <laughs> Oh progressive wait, wait a minute Just everybody stop for two seconds And, yeah. and it will continue You never saw Belly 2? I never saw they, Belly 2 I, never saw I, I think we killed that yeah. on here before Like how bad Belly 2 was no, yeah. I knew it existed I knew this. Game was on the cover Wait 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 See y'all pussies so Y'all wouldn't have had fun with that The way I'm about to have some fun No you only <laughs> having fun right. with that now. Don't do Joe, you don't do that. I didn't see it. Uh, no, you saw it. We talked I, about it on here. I don't, That's I'm a fact. I don't remember. That's all I'm saying. No, we talked about it on the podcast before. We well, who did. has seen it? Everybody's seen it. Everybody has seen Belly 2. I have no way. No, not everybody has seen Belly 2 more. Well, just more. The majority of people that have seen Belly 1 have watched Belly 2 just to no. see how bad it was. That is not true. I'm telling you. No. I'm telling you. That shit did not come out nowhere. <laughs> no, it wasn't in theaters. It wasn't nowhere. It nowhere. wasn't in theaters. No, you could buy the DVD. It was a straight to DVD. I was going to see it. Yeah, it was a straight to DVD. I'm rushing home. No, it was really bad, though. No, yeah. It's really bad. Game is in belly too. He's the lead. With with, with Lisa McDowell from um Coming to America. What? <laughs> I'm in. And I only I'm watched in. it because I wanted to see if she still looked good and she did. She kissed game? Yeah. It got a three point ten three point five out of ten on IMDB. Yeah. I am going to watch <laughs> all right. Belly I mean, Two. And I will be back solid. with a full That's not a bad rating at all. I feel like we spoke we killed I Belly think we had before. Too. 
I but swear how if you're the only person that's seen it, we maybe have cracked jokes. We, we, we can kill. I don't Rory think I've seen it. it. You never saw Belly Two. I know it exists. Oh, I, know, I never saw Belly Two. Nobody <laughs> has seen this, but Sam, you. I, feel I don't. Like everybody. You and I feel like years ago, everybody <laughs> watched that shit and killed it. How bad it was. That was um, the thing, and like everybody's like that shit was terrible. Like they fucked Belly up. Oh well, guess well we gonna kill it next week too. Uh, I thought you saw <laughs> Belly Two. Do a whole review. I'm going right home to watch Belly Two. Yeah, that shit was that shit was bad. It was bad. <laughs> nope. Here you go. I didn't even drop it. It just fell out my hand. No, no, no. Now, Belly 2, Belly 2 must have been so bad, we let uh, Tyrese and Game get... What was that that movie? The movie where... Tyrese and Game, Megan Good is Game in it. Game was like the super villain? Yes. Oh, uh... Yeah. uh it wasn't in too deep, obviously. No, no, no. But no it had something yeah. to do with it deep It had a pose. name like that. Waist Deep. Waist Deep. Thank Waste you. Waist Deep. Yeah. And when Tyrese drove his car at the end of the movie with 35,000 police officers on him into a lake mm -hmm. and then showed up on a beach in Mexico running down with his shirt off out of nowhere. He swam to Mexico. From, you never swam to LA? Yeah, you never swam to Mexico. Like, from, from, from the LA River? It's not a long swim. Yo, can we talk about something? Because I'm losing interest <laughs> we talk, in whatever we're doing. <laughs> we talk about the uh, belly too. Let's talk about something else. It's a waste deep. Belly too. I tried to talk about Lost Tapes. You was upset because no, we upset. didn't. We were happy that Nas is putting out an album with Swizz and Kanye and all these other amazing producers. No, Pharrell. I thought I was no saying ID. for you and Parks to get in your bag. Tell, tell us more. No, I mean, you wanted us to hate it. Like, oh, I can't, oh, that Nas and No ID song. Oh, my God, why are they putting <laughs> that bullshit out? Do you think they're dropping a single? Nah, well, they did the snippet with the uh, static freestyle thing, so I don't know if that counts as a single. I don't think they should. It comes to the 19th, so that's not far away. Yeah. They should just drop it. Yeah, they'll probably just drop Fuck it. Fuck a single. Yeah. They might do a little teaser. That's how I feel. Teaser joint. Um... Maul, so did you figure out what your plan is for the fourth? I know I would I only bring it up because I was talking about, you know what I mean, maybe doing some shit in the yard, pool. Oh, if you, let me tell him, tell him, tell him. Okay. <laughs> doing some shit in the yard, by the pool, right. dim, dimly lit, maybe some ladies around, some group, grub, food, grub, some fireworks. I was That's saying, what you planned on doing? Shh, Regular shit. Silencio. Uh, I'm just I was, I was saying that to you, and then you was like, you sure, Joe? Before? Dreamville is at Brooklyn Mirage on Thursday. Oh, no. I might have to beat it at you too. I was like, you sure I'm on? <laughs> no, you that was the only thing I had heard about mm. going on on the fourth. Spade is doing nah, you, you were it, sounding a little excited about it. Well that's that should be dope. At the Brooklyn Mirage, the dope venue. J. That is Cole. A dope venue. J. Cole. Is, like, I like that venue. J. Cole. You think like we'll, J. Cole? I think we'll be able to see the fireworks from there? I don't want to see J. Cole on the fourth. You don't? Not on the fourth. What if it's I like J. Cole, but J. Cole on the fourth don't add it. I, I like, think you guys really underestimate the type of women that Dreamville bring out. Oh, no, 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 no. See, that is Damn, I'm going. Like, I don't know where. I, I'm going. <laughs> that's, why, that's where <laughs> Maul has, he does have uh, some credence. Uh, yeah. I'm they going. bring him out. Yeah, I'm not fighting with J.I.D. over a girl. <laughs> like, just some, hey, Jid, come on, man. No, nah, I think it, I think it just be a too. dope. <laughs> it's, 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 it's like a, I think it's for four to midnight. Okay. You know what I mean? Just party. Something light. Yeah. A little light eight hours. Because I feel like we could do the cookout shit on the weekend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, I feel like we can do that on the weekend. We could do the cookout shit. Can't always do a J. Cole concert. <laughs> Got to catch him while you can. Now, is this a concert or a party? Not really a concert. It's, I think it's a, it's a party. party. He's performing. I believe he is going to hit the stage. I don't stage. even think that was on the flyer. I'm sure he will, but I don't even think that was on the flyer. That he would be performing? Yeah, I think it's so you know, you I'm doing a party. So I got to be mid conversation with a girl, feeling like we kind of vibing a little bit, and then watch her run to the stage. Well, I'm, she <laughs> I mean won't that happens at a run. lot of places. Yeah, but, yeah, but she I'm probably won't be able to run. Used to it happening. She probably won't be able to run in the Brooklyn Mirage. I'm not used but, to that. Yeah, the chick I just think, running to the stage. And now, now what do you do? You run behind her? <laughs> no. Oh shit! It's no. my song too. No, no. Nah, nah. You, do, you don't. You don't follow. <laughs> One time for the LA. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> and you look at her. Yeah, no. You look at her and ask her where she's from. Like where you from again? One time for you. <laughs> Why Cole don't get no slack for the downgrading of women's songs? One time for the LA hoes. The LA I thought hoes, that. I thought that was. They loved it. The LA hoes loved it. Bigging them up. It's a way you do it. It's a like, taste. It's a way. way you do it. Like. He went from that to well, he did both. Yeah, one if you time rap about for my LA your... sisters. Uh, one time, see? my sisters. See? see, he started with love. Mm -hmm. Yep. And mm -hmm. then one time for the LA hoes. See, niggas be thinking them niggas with dreads don't be fucking with the hoes too. But then he was saying, one time for the niggas who know the hoes. You gotta be able to separate the two. It's two. Yeah. You know what I mean? We know that. Mm. We know it's two different types. Is Jay Cole in a relationship? 
J. Cole's married, I believe. Yeah, I think that's true. Yeah, with with the child. Yeah, I believe J. Cole's married. What a fucking model citizen. <laughs> Great guy. Yeah, man. No wonder he won't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people won't talk Try to me. Try to do a pull up. Relax. Relax, small. I'm just saying. I'm sure you get JID. Who are the lot of people that won't talk to me? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. No, I no, no. I I'm can't just talk saying. to TA. No. <laughs> Champ. He's been to your house. You can talk to him. He's, he's talked to you. Yeah. Any, any athlete I know is only because of Maul. Let me just throw it out. That's not true. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Any athlete that's that I know is solely true, because of nigga, you. That's not I true. I feel weird when them niggas say hi to me in the club. You don't talk to KD because of me. To who? KD. I don't talk to KD. Yes, you do. You DM KD. You've texted him. You've Well, we've t- talked a lot before. <laughs> I just said that. I just said that. Oh, we talked a lot. That wasn't because but, of me. But KD raps. All I'm saying is it wasn't because of me. Like, what do you? I've spoken to every your, athlete. Look at your favorite debater. I have spoken to every <laughs> athlete that raps, with the exception of Kobe, because Kobe is like Guy Beyonce to me. Yeah. <laughs> he is Guy Beyonce. Kobe is because not of Guy. his raps. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Everything to do, nothing to do with music. Nothing to do with his raps. If you, if you, no, not at all. If y'all had to pick Guy Beyonce, who would it be though? Mm. I'm still going Kobe. He gave you 81 and two assists, three. <laughs> 81 with two assists. That is ridiculous. <laughs> you can't even shoot the ball enough I think times those... to, get a, to get 81 points. Your arm no. would fall off your shoulder. <laughs> I, no, I agree with you. Your, your arm would fall <laughs> you. out of your socket. Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah, Kobe's got Beyonce. All right. Even in the detailed shit he be giving, I'm like, ooh, I didn't see that, Kobe. <laughs> Kobe. I didn't see it. I didn't Kobe seeing things I don't see. That's funny. Wait, how you abbreviate his name with the exact same letters? God, Beyonce. <laughs> no, K- the e, the, K-O-B-E. No, Kobe e, and Kobe are the same. The E is not there in the Kobe. All right. It's just K-O-B. What was I ending with? I just said I was trying to lead us home, and y'all you, fucking derailed me into talking about Guy Beyonce. <laughs> no, you asked the question. We answered. All right, well, I'm done with that question. All right, what else is and, happening? And you lost that one. What? You know athletes outside of more. You do. He know he do, man. Don't listen That's to That's not Joe. true, though. Joe. Cut J- it J.R. Smith? <laughs> Has nothing to do with Maul. <laughs> is that fair? I don't think that's Just fair. Trying to be mean to my friend, that's all. Oh uh, yeah, because I don't think that's fair. I think it's <laughs> that's dirty. hurtful. Hello, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Come on, you're bro. over it, man. Yeah, but still, we can joke about things. We're over. I know, but I'm not ever doing the joking on y'all. Like I have mad things that I want to joke about with you and more. Even parks that can never seem to make the airway. <laughs> it never seems to like hit the mic. <laughs> but, but y'all, all y'all shit come out. Uh, Joe. Yo, Joe, remember you got fucked in the ass? Hey, was, yo. Like, like, what the, well, like, what the fuck Wait, are y'all talking about? Parks, you said that? Who, so who said that one? Nobody said that. Erickson? Was that you? I think Joe was trying to tell us something without telling us something. No, Mo. I walk like that because of my back. <laughs> oh, that sounds bad, too. Oh, wow. Right. <laughs> He's going to ride till he can't no more. (laughs) Because of my back. Oh, shit. Rewind it. (laughs) Scoliosis, I meant dick face. It's okay. Um, And we also don't rap verses about them. We're joking about them because you put them out there. If it was a secret, I would have never said it. What other athletes you talking about Uh, outside of Kate Jarrett's man? Okay. All right. I can't fight You know a few football players. I can't fight Aaron Foster. I know some football players. Yeah. Saquon Barkley. Holy shit. I didn't even tell you all about my fucking LaShawn McCoy story. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. I'm all ears. That was a perfect time. Going into sports anyway. Yeah, who's going to Yeah, good bad. sports segue. Oh, what happened, man? What year was this? Three weeks ago. <laughs> That's why I'm shocked I didn't come in here. I meant I, for three weeks, two podcasts a week, I'm meaning to come in here and just t- laugh with y'all about this story. Because uh, I think a few weeks ago we was talking about, or it came up about just, you know, longevity. And when you've been around so long, like, you might have a have some smoke with somebody that you don't even know is smoke with. Mm-hmm. We was talking about, I think I that's, remember that. that's what we was talking about. And, <laughs> and I meant to tell y'all that I pulled up the starlets after one of these podcasts. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I stood outside like I normally do. As soon as I get there, I stand outside because I'm used to the starlets where you got to stand outside and just look around a little bit, make sure she's all right. <laughs> Niggas be stashing guns and shit outside. Right. <laughs> okay. So I'm standing outside and... Marty comes out. Marty only ever comes out to greet famous people or bring famous people inside. 
But nobody ever treats me like I'm famous, so I'm just standing there looking like a crackhead smoking. You were regular there, so. That's true. And I look like a crackhead when I'm outside smoking. <laughs> so Marty comes out. LaShawn McCoy hops out of a truck with two friends. Marty greets him, and he says, you know, he, he knows I'm out there. He says what's up to me, and he tries to do a quick intro. He says, Joe, have you ever met LaShawn? And LaShawn just gave like a... And, mm, <laughs> Like, All right, head nod. <laughs> the fuck, yeah. the fuck is you talking about? Yeah, I head nod too. Just, <laughs> yeah. Okay. But wait, stupid me. Like I prefer that greeting with men, so I didn't take that as nothing. Mm. I thought it was like, "All right, and I head nod." Mm. But it was a little. It was a little. Uh, what's the word? It was some tone. There's it a was, tone to the head nod. Some little, tone it, to the head nod. Yeah, it was spicy. It was a spicy head yeah, nod. Yeah, because there's a way to head nod where yeah, you know yeah. it's cool. With respect. And then it's a head nod where it's like, man, fuck, I don't fuck with that nigga. Like it that. was one of those. It was one of those. But I didn't think nothing of it. So I go inside, chilling for about an hour. Okay. For those that don't know, Starlet's is a very small place. Sure, everyone can a see A lot of everyone. love in the room, though. A lot of love. Of course. Oh, yeah. I'm chilling for like an mm -hmm. hour. And then LaShawn McCoy comes up to me. And he mm -hmm. daps me, but he holds the dap. Which oh, means a conversation uh -huh. is at a rise. And which means, nigga, if you on defense, nigga, I could pop this with you right bad. here. Yeah. <laughs> that, that is what that means, Maul. Mm, now, I don't, I don't know if the listeners know nigga that. Nigga swung on me like that Yo, one <laughs> Don't hold it was cool. my dap. And by the way, if I, I want to I want to dap you and let go quickly. Unless you know them. Wait, yeah, that's, that's different. Yeah. That's different. And also, yeah. isn't LaShawn McCoy a lefty? I don't know. Yeah, oh, left-handed people don't dap bad. with the left. Well, I'm a No, lefty. I'm saying if I'm dapping you with yeah, the we both, right we hand, we both got our left. I'm I'm holding your right hand. I can catch a, have, a nice we both left. Have our left. Oh, oh yeah, I see <laughs> what you're saying. Yeah, if you're lefty. But listen, more importantly even than what y'all are saying cuz y'all are right. A nigga dap you, he hold the dap. When he hold the dap and pull you close to him. Okay. He's a football player, too. Me he's, and he's strong. Now, <laughs> Definitely not a small oh, gentleman. Slow down, gentlemen. That's exactly where I'm going. But Sean McCoy <laughs> pulls me close to him now in the strip club, holding my dap still. Okay. So now, just to let him know that this, I'm not a threat, I, I, I touch his back to try to hear what he's saying. Man. <laughs> What a nice back. <laughs> is this why, you're, is this why your back hurt? <laughs> Yo. He's been doing his shrugs. Hey, oh. I, hey you quickly could tell you were speaking to a, an athlete. Yep. Like this nigga had the shoulder shit chiseled. A, uh, a running back. He had, that. Hey, he had the indented spine. Like uh, you can tell when a nigga like. An indented. <laughs> <laughs> like damn, why his back feel like. I like my bitch's back like this. With a little indented spine. That nigga back was mad in shape. <laughs> What's wrong? He's doing his rows, man. Now I'm rubbing him like shit. Doing his rows. <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm giving him a massage while he holds a death. Fan. Like, damn, with, nigga. With strippers everywhere. I can see how you had yeah, 1,500 they, yards. Yeah. They get paid to give massages. <laughs> Wait. I can see how you were a beast in the league. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you work out daily? Tough, tough to tackle this guy. Wow. <laughs> This guy is a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> this story is way better with the dad hat on, by the way. I just want to let you know. <laughs> you look younger. That's not what I was going for. But oh. carry on. Can you I do. tell y'all that I was walking around my house cleaning, and Jose is selling or makes these dad hats with all the different haircuts on it. Right. <laughs> and I put it on, and I just kept it on. The end. Now you're dead. I'm not guy. trying to look cool or young. Well, you are. All right, anyway, so LaShawn McCoy's right, so back was mad yes, nice, you're right? You're massaging his back. So he's telling me, he says, yo, I want you to know it ain't no beef. <laughs> well, that's a good, well, good thing, yeah. Nah, not yet. Notice. Not yet, no. I got to hear what's it could, coming next. It could next. be the bluff. Because, yeah, when a nigga tell you I want you to know it's no beef, I don't know it's no beef yet. Yeah. Right. That let me know that you have a reason to have beef. You nah, have, you, have a that's, beef, you have a beefable offense coming. No, that's but you just decided because it not could beef easily be followed up. But yes, no, 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 no. Or no. my response to it's not beef could be beef, could be beef, <laughs> right? But that's on you now. But he's letting you know how it's he's approaching me. it. No, but <laughs> he's letting you know how he's approaching it. Like, yo, I just want to let you know it's no beef. Now, if you decide to be like, fuck you, mean it ain't no beef. Now you taking it somewhere else. 
That's oh, that's well, on you. No, I'm not wasn't doing that while. I'm but I'm just saying. Back. But once a, once a guy once <laughs> a guy is that's shaking your hand, he's telling you to stop I'm, rubbing I'm, when he said there's no beef. I'm a podcaster. He is a bill. No, but he is a like his job requires the gym and deadlifts and yeah. My job, I got to talk to you niggas. Yeah. Yes, a little T, just he, T. He, he, he dodges middle linebackers and safeties. Yeah, he has a nice back. All right, well, no, we established that to the story. Yeah, we grab? get it. No, I never grabbed oh, so the Sean said, McCoy's back. So he said, "Yo, I want you." <laughs> you've, wait, Mo, you've never grabbed Sean no. McCoy's back? No, sorry. Okay. Saquon? No, <laughs> I don't grab men's backs. I don't know if anybody else in the room is with me on that one. I don't just go around like, "Hey, how you, how you been?" All right, don't do that. <laughs> oh, all right, don't. You just said that's what you just said. I didn't he had the like, indentation. Didn't like, nah, he did. Okay, like his spine. He double handed his back. <laughs> See, Rory nasty ass put two hands there. <laughs> so he says, "Yo, I want you to know, I ain't even no beef, dog." And now I'm in the, in my head like, uh. I have only picked you on my fantasy team three years in a row. <laughs> Why right. would there be beef here? He says all that shit that happened back in the day, water under the bridge. And I'm like, uh, I don't know what happened back in the day mm -hmm. with me and him. And, he, and I say that. I say, yo, I picked you on fantasy team, man. So I don't I have no idea what you're talking about. He says, long story short, man, uh, I was running around back in the day with, uh, nah. and you was like, yeah, man, she run around with LaShawn McCoy, this corny ass nigga. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so, so there was beef. Oh, <laughs> and I said, "Oh man, damn, mm -hmm. that sound like me." Uh, yeah, I can't even. I can't even hold. You. See how niggas are being like. I a, can't even hold. But you, you. see how we will Yo, create. I let go of his back. <laughs> uh, issue. <laughs> at that point, I'm glad yeah. you did. At I some let point, go let go of his back. back. So I said that. Yeah. <laughs> I would never <laughs> grab his chest. <laughs> Me. I would never say such a thing. Yeah. Nah. Nah. I couldn't even. I couldn't even deny that one. Was like, yeah, man. My my bad. I, back then, I was wilding. Yeah. Young, immature. Yeah. You got to didn't take, really yeah. know the. He's like, man, I ain't sweating under that, man. I'm just glad you know I'm a real nigga, big fan of podcast, big fan of what you're doing, have a blast. Went back over wherever he was at, and that was just the night. But, okay. But it's just funny. You, that, a nigga with a bad memory shouldn't be out just chilling. <laughs> yeah, that's not a, that's not that's a safe not, way to live. Fam. Or, yeah, you don't know when, when or where it's coming from. Fam, if that nice back nigga would have got the pounding on me. <laughs> I ain't even have my little broke Corona bottle like when I be ready for shit. <laughs> it's a good move. Word. <laughs> shit. Wait, that is his back felt. I don't know if that was going to get it done. Not so, at all. Uh, straight off. Nah, yeah, yeah, nah. I, I, I can see how you he You break the Corona bottle on his back. Listen, man. Nah, that's, you got a buck 50, that one. <laughs> that guy's strong. I would hope so. Nah, for real. But see, that's the way everybody laughed at me when I was playing against... Ray Rice. <laughs> I'm right. trying to tell you. <laughs> no, the football players. Are dead. See, that's why you got to fight basketball players. <laughs> well, guards, the short one. No, yeah. <laughs> go point, to the smallest guard. The I don't coach. know. Guards are like six, seven. Now. No, I just yeah, pop on the coach. I ain't gonna lie. I was walking in whip one night, and Paul George was walking in in front of me. I'm like, damn, six, seven is tall. <laughs> 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 yeah, God damn. Yeah, six, seven look a little yeah. different. In Does person, you know how man. high the ceilings are in this place? Like a natural six, seven. Yeah, no, it's, weird. it's weird for me when I see someone I, I, six, seven. I'm like. You're a bad nat tall. A like, natural tall. six seven. Yeah, not they six, went to seven DR. Tall. Not not the uh basketball, we're just gonna add three inches. Poor poor George. Oh, you talking about when like Iverson was really five ten. <laughs> Iverson was five five. <laughs> getting, a, <laughs> getting a fucking bucket. Good word, one hundred percent. Six one on paper. Uh yeah, yeah, poor George is tall. I wonder how his back is. It's a joke for All the podcast. Right. See, no, the podcast no, it's a joke. Say, Maul didn't say Gay anything. Pride, progressive expansion. Fam. Expansion. <laughs> Double entendre. Come on, Roar. Are you are you sure? <laughs> Look nasty. <laughs> I tricked you. All right, come on. What else is there? Y'all want to talk about uh uh Slim Four Hundred getting shot, getting shot on his block in Compton ten times, drive by the uh masked masked gentleman, uh let some shots out right while they rolled by, stopped the car, hopped out, tried to get some more off. So he got hit nine times is what I wanna say. I'm not familiar who that is. Lower and upper uh, lower back, chest, upper body. They said top of the head and Damn. chin. Shit. And miraculously, he is expected to make uh, a full recovery and be perfectly fine. He is not in critical condition, thank God. Wow. Um, and God is good. Wow. And and this is where we all slim four hundred is. I want to say from YG's yeah. crew. Yeah, oh, okay. fucks the YG in them. Okay. 
Uh, and that's all I all I know. I'm familiar with his internet vids. I'm familiar with him that way. Got it. Prayers uh, up to him and <sighs> man, blessing shit. Uh, prayers prayers up to him. Thank God that we didn't have to come in here and say rest in peace to anybody. And please, please move carefully in the summertime. In the yeah. summertime, that's all out. That's all I'll say. You already know how I feel about the summer and. How with the shits people are in the summer. Please be mm -hmm. careful out there in your travels. Uh, and that's to everybody. Yeah. Uh, what else What else do we need to hit? I was going to come in. Stay sports. Uh, Seferica. Oh, we're staying sports. Got it. Let's stay sports. Yeah. Let's let's finish this up. Let's stay sports. What is there to say? Maul, give us a, a free agency breakdown. Kawhi is going to the Lakers. Clippers. Uh, no. I heard that was off. I, think, oh, yeah, I thought I that had been off. But I'm going off ESPN. Kawhi's going to the Lakers. Uh, Iguodala's going to the Lakers. Seth Curry took money and went somewhere, right? He went to Seth went Curry, Dallas. Dallas. Yeah. yeah, he went to Dallas. Happy for oh, him. Oh, Jared Dalley. See, that's why. All right, they got Which Jared Which I Dulles. think Dallas going to be all right. Yeah, it does. No, yeah. Dallas is going to be is. more than all right. <laughs> like, yeah. I promise you they'll be very good next yeah. year. Well, good for the other Curry brother. Yeah, well, I'm well, happy for Seth, man. Cl Clay, Clay is staying. That was announced today, right? Listen, well, we knew. I know, but. Oh, shit. He could have left. He wasn't going to work. Not with that injury. Yeah, that's true. Julius is a Nick. That's a good pickup, though. I, yeah, a very I, good pickup. I, it's not a bad pickup. Y'all yeah. know how I, I, listen, think, listen. I think. I think it's a great pickup. I think the Knicks are actually like everybody's killing them. I think they're doing a pretty good job in this free agency shit for the first time in a long time. They're listen, not doing a good job. Nah, you don't. You don't. You, you don't, can't go out and just spend every year and you have don't, mediocre results. No, you don't. You don't not put an off on the table for a player like Kevin Durant. I'm sorry. Even with coming off an Achilles, he he will be better than any player your franchise has ever had. No, ever. Yes, I don't ever. Know. I don't know about that. Yes, I don't know about that. There's no player. I don't. If Kevin Durant comes back seventy percent, he will be better than any player that has ever played for the Knicks. I don't, I don't know about that. That's not true. Yeah. Who, who who's That's better than him? Patrick Ewing. Seventy percent. Patrick Ewing. Get the fuck out of here. At seventy percent, I'm taking him. Sorry. Yeah. At seventy percent, Kevin Durant. He wouldn't. He's have not missed. better, than Patrick Ewing. Okay. <laughs> That's All my right. opinion. Oh, that's your opinion. You're right. You're but absolutely right. But totally outside that, I agree with you. So we don't have to argue there. You uh, can't not offer for him. Uh, James Dolan coming off of watching Amari Stoudemire and Joe Kim Noah. I can understand him saying that. <laughs> yeah. I can understand him saying it. He and, shouldn't have said and it. And Vin Baker and just a long history of them yeah. offering a big contract to people with questionable that, yeah, that's injuries. That's all. I can understand him saying it. I, I disagree with it. I'm with you. You're supposed to offer that to him, but. I don't think that's why. Uh, I think that was the Knicks trying to save face, even though I think it's true. Save face for what? What is there to save? You, I, no, what, I think what, they what? did the complete opposite. I thought their PR afterwards is what brought all the jokes and made their franchise look insane. Because yeah. I don't think, after the information we've all gotten that we haven't said on the microphone, we kind of knew KD and Kyrie was going to Brooklyn. No, yes. we knew that. What did we you knew that. A four -year so deal? you didn't need to say oh, that. Yeah. KD. Four year. Four year. Four years. You See, didn't need to go out and say that, yo, I didn't even want to offer nothing to Sun. The only like, reason why I think he would have been a good pickup is because the Knicks would still be a lottery team. So they would essentially have top five picks like multiple years in a row and then get KD after it's all said and done. When he the becomes Knicks, healthy again. In, in true Nick fashion, the Knicks will regret not offering KD a contract. I don't know. I think they're doing the right thing for the first time in a long time. Okay. But he's just, Paul Parks is talking about free agency period. Yeah, and exactly. Not really just the Kevin Durant right. mishap. The Knicks did not get any of the big free agents. Good. It doesn't oh, always oh, work out. That, that, that doesn't cool. always that work doesn't out. doesn't mean that you had a bad offseason. Right. That does mean that. No, it, no, doesn't. it doesn't. It absolutely means that. All right. I, I disagree. Yeah. I mean, just, they had to spend the money, and they did it all two-year contracts. They, in two years, that's when the you're bigger You're talking to a Knicks fan, so, and, and I've seen the summers where they didn't get nobody, and they spent all the money doing something stupid. I'll talk to Knicks fans. I'll, I'll talk to y'all in November. I know how to talk to Knicks fans. But I know, I know when to talk to Knicks fans. No, 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 we're not Nick saying fans. that. It's, it's, you think Knicks fans think we're going to be good? I know <laughs> when, to, I know when to talk to you. No one's to, happy. You can't talk but, to Knicks fans in the summer. I, 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 trust me, I've done the research. If you put everyone on the two-year contract into when you everyone's cannot, free shit is going to be listen, up in two years, I will talk to Knicks fans in November. I know exactly what Knicks fans are going to be saying in November. If I'm not getting Kyrie, I guess I got to spend the money, put them on two-year contracts, Rory, yes, you abs you have to have somebody on the roster. That's not telling me much. So then why? But I'm just saying all the you, money. You can't no, sit here and say the Knicks did not have roster. a bad free agency. They had one of the worst free agencies ever because before this free agency happened, they were predicted to get a couple of the big names. They didn't get any of them. Mo, I'm talking to you that new KD was going to Brooklyn. It didn't have to move on from KD. It didn't, it's other big free agencies that free agents that were out there. They didn't land any of them. This not AD one. Was not going, AD thing. was not going to New York. Okay, well, that's, that's there's, on you. There's three of them out there. Kawhi, AD, and uh, 
And LeBron was on AD already. That was K- happening. KD and Kyrie. That's four. Knicks fans weren't. I mean, no, there's other big fans out there. Kimba. The, the Knicks weren't giving Kimba max dollars. The Knicks weren't giving Jimmy no. Butler max dollars. They made it very clear. They said this. They said this. And if we don't is, get a big guy, we are not spending max dollars. They said that. Which is actually and smart. That, and that's what they did. So you're saying so they be, had a bad so, free agency. So be terrible for another five years. It doesn't have to be five years. Well, no. The I, Knicks are going to be bad for the next five years. I don't think that's true. Okay. I'll talk to Knicks fans in November. That's all I'm saying. No, we're going to suck this year. What do you think? No, you're going to suck for the next five November? years. But what, what, because I'm going to no, November. He said November. We're going to suck this because November. Because every November, December, Knicks fans say the same thing. Tank? N- tank. No, fire we said the it coach. now. I'm not saying yeah. Tank. Fire, fire yeah. the coach. But how I'm many, years, Knicks how many just... years are y'all going to keep screaming tank? Y'all been screaming tank for the last six years. It don't make sense. But how many I'm years do you right. get to scream tank though? It's yeah. been six years. How good do you then think? Then when one of the biggest free agencies More. ever happens, how do you think? How good do you think the Nets are going to be next year? The Nets are going to be really good next year. No, they're not. They were good this year. Yeah. No, they, they, they put the first round bounce. What do you mean they were really? Nobody good? Nobody even had them going to the playoffs and, this year. It still was a first round bounce. You're not listening right, to what I'm saying. Nobody the had them going not, to the playoffs. Good. Nobody had them going to the playoffs. The Nets will be good this year. I'm going to watch. The Nets you will be good right this year. You're going to watch. The Nets are going to be a first round bounce. It doesn't agree. This is what again, I'm saying. It, listen, what I'm saying. Last year, nobody had the Knicks going why to the playoffs. Why are we? Why are we? No, no, of course. They went to the playoffs and took Philly to seven games. Was it seven games? Was it? Wasn't it seven games they it took Philly to? I don't Regardless. remember. Yeah, I don't know. It might have been seven. Like, yeah. come on, fam. Like, without any of these, like, without a yeah, Kyrie Irving, they just got rid of their best player from that that team that overachieved. And then they got and a Ed better Davis. player. They got they get rid of a few people. Yeah. Yeah, but then they got a better better players though. But one of them is not going to play for the whole season. That's okay. They, they have enough to get to the playoffs. And that's all you guys for. If you're trying to tell me that I'm putting stock in Kyrie, Spencer, Dimwitty, uh, Karis Levert, and... Yes, uh, absolutely. And, um, Prince and, and Jared and, and, Allen. And, uh, and DeAndre being, Jordan. Being anything more than a first-round bounce next year without Kevin Durant. They could be a first-round bounce. That's that's fine. You, wanna, you just want to be a winning basketball team. Everybody's not going to win a championship. That. Who? They were that before the season. But what I'm saying is last year, nobody had the Nets season. going to the playoffs. No doubt. But they like were, experts, they, nobody they had don't them going. I don't know what Maul's arguing anymore. I'm and, you, say, and you have KD out. What I'm saying is they, the, you said were the Nets most good last season, year. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, no, they I, were. I I'm never asked you if the Nets well, were good One of y'all did ask me if the Nets were going to. No, you said, I well, do I think the Nets were going to be good? Yes, they were good last year. They were decent. And they got a better team now. So how are they not going to be? We'll see. What I'm saying is the Knicks are going to suck for the next at least four years. Period. I don't know about that. I've seen okay. the they're gonna suck this year. I've seen the Knicks next, suck for twenty year. years. So yeah. I mean, so this is why I say I don't talk to Knicks fans in the summer. Five years, it means but, nothing. But, but to listen, me. what I'm saying it, it went from tank. I'm saying tank now, Maul. You were saying I'm, tank last the last six years. But that's my point. I'm, that's not true. Stop just saying it. You the said Knicks, tank now. You said it last year. You said it the year before that. Maul, the Knicks haven't had six draft picks in the last six years. You've been yelling tank for how many years? Two. Just get the. F- so you mean only this year, last year, you yelled tank? Last year, I yelled tank. In the Porzingis year, I yelled tank. So that's two. You're, you're already already yelling tank now. That's three. That's three. You yelled tank before Porzingis was ever a Nick. Mm-mm. All right. I just don't always think that going out and spending big money on uh, free agents, especially ones with very questionable injury history, is the smartest move in the world. Yeah. I think staying pat and getting a couple good free agents and continuing to build with your young players is smart. Me too. Cool. And what I'm telling well, you is, smart, Nick fans smart, will regret. Smarter than the previous going out and buying Vin Baker. And smart, and, give, given the situation. How long do you think in. it would be before Nick fans yell uh, to trade R.J. Barrett? I'm done with more. I'm I done with more. I'm that. just asking a question. And by the way, we're also not saying I'm we didn't want Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. We're saying when that's not an option. No, he said it. <laughs> that's all. Park said it. <laughs> I didn't say that. Yes, you did. did. No, I didn't. I said re- that you should have signed Kevin Durant. That's saying the same shit. All we right, knew fam, that we fam. wasn't going to well, get them, fam. so if we're not going to get them, that's not true. That's not true. Go. That, what, is Parks, what is Rory talking about? That he knew y'all wasn't going to get Kevin Durant. Why are you saying that? Y'all didn't even offer for him. Y'all didn't even put it on the table. If, we you, knew if you want me to say what I believe, let me tell you, let me say what I believe. I think at some point, Kyrie and KD had their mind made up to go to the Knicks, not the Nets, the Knicks. I think something happened 
to where they both was off it or one of them was off it. I don't know if that was the Porzingis <laughs> trade. I don't know if it was I had Dolan. that affected. I don't know if it was Dolan doing the interviews saying, "Oh, we got good work." Because that made me feel away. It was like, "Nigga, shut up! If you got good work, just I, go sit down somewhere." I, what yeah. I'm hearing is that a lot of players don't like Dolan. They don't Dolan. like the way he handled Oakley. I heard it yeah. was yeah. Dolan like too. That Oakley yeah. shit was horrible. I hate Dolan. But when we heard this, and whenever we heard it, and then when oh, I won't say his name, and then when it was brought up again when we was on the road, that was what we heard. It's Dolan. We feeling a little funny about Dolan. They're saying yeah. that they don't really know where it is with Dolan there. Yeah, players just don't want to play for him. So I think there that. was a convo with Carmelo, too. What do you mean? And you, I think KD and Kyrie both talked to Carmelo Anthony. Oh, oh probably. Yeah, for sure. sure. I think they both spoke to DeAndre Jordan. That's what I think they spoke to. I mean, and uh, it's a bad optic. Well, KD definitely had, I know 1,000, but he had plans to come to the Knicks at mm -hmm. one point. Yeah, I know that. Definitely. That's a fact. Definitely. So I don't, I don't know if DeAndre said something to get him out of that. Porzingis, Dolan, whatever it is. But I mean, I guess that's why the blow didn't hit me the way it hit other Knicks fans. No, we knew at the la at I least knew, definitely I, the last month for sure they were going to Brooklyn. Yeah, I knew that. Mo, that's what the point. I'm, I'm just. I was just shocked when that talking to the you. Knicks never even put an off on the table for him. Like to me, that was the shock of free agency. Like, wait, y'all never even. I just put think an off you, on the you table. Made the that crazy. You That's should, ridiculous. No, I, I, I agree. agree, and I think y'all waited for this free agency year. Like, how do you not at least put off on the table for him? Even if you feel like yo, we feel like you're gonna go to Brooklyn, but here's what we would offer you. I just think it's bad PR for your organization when you put shit out right after KD announces that, because now your organization looks like clowns, and who wants to play for people that wouldn't give KD a max if I'm an NBA player? They put out a press release, or they put out a, uh, some type of something that it was I, fake I've never leaks, seen nothing like this. Tweets. It was weird. No, I'm talking about their actual press release that yeah. after the uh, Nets did what they had to do, and they said, uh, "Nick fans, I know you're disappointed." And it was like, "That was weird." This is you're now you're making it weird. Yeah, you're making it odd now. Yeah. Would you agree yeah. now that the New York Knicks, the allure of playing for the New York Knicks, is gone? Uh, no. I, it's, it's I disagree. I had this conversation with my father on the phone today. It's gone. I, th I think well, all these kids. <laughs> no, it's gone. No. I think I, all these kids no it's don't gone. give a fuck about playing in Madison Square Garden anymore. It's just I think, a thing I to think say. it's all gone. It's just a thing to say. I think it's gone. It's no, just a thing to say. Idiots. I'm telling you. Nobody's yeah. going to come in. Nobody's going to play for the Knicks. That, I, that's I caught. Quote. My generation caught the tail end of that. Hey, can y'all stop talking to each other? Because y'all ain't just spewing out points. Y'all just kind of like talking to I'm spewing out points. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's talk. I want to have this conversation. You just said something that's totally different from what you asked. You asked me if I thought the allure of playing uh, for the Knicks is gone. Mm hmm Right? Mm hmm So I can acknowledge that the Knicks are a poor organization. Niggas still want to play in Madison Square Garden. I guess I, that's, that's not, what I'm saying. That's not what I asked you. I said is the allure for playing for the New York Knicks gone. Oh, all right, so when you say a lore, I never thought that they had a lore. I thought the lore was always with you the know, garden. No, you know the Knicks. No, okay. that no Knicks jersey. I agree with you. No, the lore is for the garden, the rucker. Every nigga Dykeman. plays in the, in the garden. Every team has to come here. Well, I wouldn't say that. I'm talking about where this is home, where you put on that Joe, jersey almost oh, that every night. Joe, I, I'll I'll go, go, been out of here, Ma. Then I'll go on the I ledge. I don't give a fuck about that shit. They put Vin Baker in that jersey. Come on, I'm done talking. Then, to then you, I'll go on the ledge and say, yes, I think the allure of playing in Madison Square Garden as your home is gone. I don't think it was so, never part of these kids' childhood. It's never been dope in their childhood for the age group that we're going into now. I caught the end of it. All right, like, so y'all The agree allure, I think, no, is I, gone I, of, of Madison agree, Square Garden. Rory agrees with you. What I will say, I I, I don't agree with that. It take it take if R. J. No, he said Knicks. You, I'm saying Garden. I think it's dumb for the I, Garden. Okay, I'm not even dignifying. No, what I'm saying. people <laughs> want to play I'm in the Garden. Yeah. If R. J. Barrett starts, that's start not making you go to a team. Year, then somebody will want to play with him in the garden. I don't think it's I don't think it's that. Uh to your point though, Maul, and that's where I think this conversation lies. The, the conversation for me lies in old versus new business habits, practices, and acumen. The Knicks represent old business to me. James Dolan, his views, how he gets money, how he operates, mm -hmm. uh, how he runs the business, uh and while the optic is, I get it, Spike Lee and niggas in the front row, I don't know if that's really how the business is ran. The Knicks is one of the first franchises. So we can go back to however we thought the old shit was being ran versus the Nets. Now, I don't, I don't even know who owns the Nets, but 
Really nice new updated building. Uh, you can see what they were trying to do. They had a vision with the Russian back in the day. You could tell what they were trying to do. Hove, mascot, 1%, front man, Rock Nation, just the relationships with the rap. Like, do you see what I'm saying just about how the businesses are ran? Yeah. Do you? Because that's, I that's what, what I get. That That's what I pull from what you're saying. Even with it's all that being so, said, even with all of that being so, said, the Nets had the worst attendance in the league in the league last year. Last year. Yeah. See, I don't think the players, like you said, the players don't give a fuck about the Knicks. I think the list of the things that players don't give a fuck about is a lot longer today. Attendance being one of them. I don't think for one second Kevin Durant or Kyrie said, ah, they might not come out. Like, no, you no, know, no, no, no. You know what I mean? Listen, well, it's a no. little different when they come. They know <laughs> They point. know that as soon as they they'll sign, bring, season bring. tickets are sold out. Yeah. <laughs> they know that they changed that. Tell what, me what that does for the Knicks and the Knicks ticket and the, and the building. Speak to me well, about well, that. Well, so well, that, the Knicks, that's kind of the point I was making. No, the Knicks. Yeah, no, the, well, no. I'm just shitting on the Knicks. I'm trying to have no, the like Knicks, an intelligent conversation the about Knicks, that. The Knicks <laughs> right, are totally living off of the else. fact that they're in the middle of Manhattan. People go to Knicks games just by walking by the garden and seeing that it's a game tonight. They'll just walk in the arena. It's it's a tourist attraction. That doesn't happen in, no matter how much for the they Nets. suck. It's always going to yeah, be sold so out. That's, that's why Dolan is not really tripping the, about yeah. because the tennis is still up. You know what I mean? Like people are still coming to the games because it's in the middle of Manhattan. Uh, they have prime real estate. It's a tourist attraction. I do. It is a tourist attraction, for and sure. I do think that why Dolan doesn't want to pay. I anyone. do think that Dolan has had great business and bad business. So he's not incentivized to really make this team better. That's why I like this Nets move, if you're asking me. I like the Nets move because it kind of forces you to have to do something. We've never seen this day where you were potentially the second second market team in your hometown. Yeah. You're going to have to bust a move. Even, even as profitable as your business has been, mm-hmm. you're going to have to now think about winning daily or see these big Kevin Durant posters every fucking day. See, it's different from when the Russian dude was just trying to prove a point, and he put them big-ass billboards up across the street from uh, Madison Square Garden. Man, Nick fans looking at that shit saying, I'm talking, ta! Mm-hmm. <laughs> we give a yeah. fuck about that. Now, <laughs> it's a little different when you're just putting KD and Kyrie up now on Instagram. Kyrie, oh, home is where I always meant to. Woo! It's different. It's just different. I would like Jersey. to see how it affects... Yeah, but he had all that speech ready for coming to the Knicks, too. <laughs> I, mean, I just want to see how it affects the Knicks, the Knicks uh, ticket prices... The Knicks fans, that building, the attendance. Because all in Brooklyn games are sold out now. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. Even, even with KD. Just to see um, KD in street clothes. Yeah. They sold out. Well, it's a certain it's a, energy that's going to be in the building now. I don't think they'll see it this year. Who? Shit. I, I think. Yeah, we'll see. I You'll think, see it. You got Kyrie mm-hmm. Irving. October, October, whoa, 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 October 1. About, okay, everyone relax. I'm not talking about the Nets. <laughs> the Nets are going to sell out. Oh, the energy with the Knicks. I think energy with the Knicks in Madison Square Garden this year will remain the same off the tourist attraction that will always be there. If I don't the think Nets so. really start to see some success and the city energy shifts, I think it may be different. But this year, I think the, the Knicks the will be success. the fine. I think it will be totally fine. <laughs> they, they've seen success already. The cool. last three days. No, I'm, I'm talking about a whole different shift in the city. This is different. You know what? And I thought about that, too. I, I, I immediately went to uh, the Jason Kidd, Kenyon Martin, Kerry Kittles Nets. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a good team. Because mm-hmm. that team was super dominant. And the Knicks fans survived with a bad team. Even though we weren't the premier team. But they weren't in New York then. Right. They were in New Jersey. Much different. Is it even though it's that close? Yep. I'm asking. You, Way that, that's why I bring it up. Mm-hmm. Different. Much different than when you can be in the boroughs and and access that Barclays Center so easily with mass transit, Atlantic Terminal being what it is now, everything they put access, around it. But like fine. it's so much easier to get there than to go to East Rutherford. For it, to go game. to East Rutherford, it's, that, it's that was a plan. Even thing. even if they when when they were at, of course, actually pretty Jason similarly Kim, easy by public transit. For it's worth. No, but but going to Fam, the next, y'all are not about to tell me game? getting to Atlantic Terminal. Is just as easy no, as no, no. getting I to would, East Rutherford when that. you're in New York City. I would never say that. The, the, only, the difference is they're both in two boroughs, and people are just walking by these buildings all day, all night. Like that's why the Knicks sell out. People are walking literally on that block and all day. It's a landmark. I don't think they, that's they why the Knicks sell that. out. By the way, yeah, they like, I'm, I'm against that. Yeah, <laughs> no, they, the, the Knicks see a lot it. of the Knicks see a lot of literally. Walk some up? people don't even. Yeah, they sell some people. I've tried to buy Knicks tickets, and they've been sold out. But way before walk up was a well, it depends on who's playing. 
Yeah, it's hard course. to get a if Knicks ticket. If it's a big team at, coming at a in a town, game. no, you're not gonna get it. Yeah. But but that's a what I'm saying. This year they won't see it. Give it some time. I think they will see it. I think the Knicks are going to get booed every home game. I think the Knicks are going to be decent. Not to, not, in, in, not, not to, to the players that are I, on the I roster. I think there'll be enough people in there that have no idea what the fuck is going on the except that they're at the Madison Square Garden. Two years. No. I think they're I can hear booed. all of y'all when y'all talk over They're going to get booed. They're going to get booed every home game. Fans I think are the boo. exact opposite. I think, I think this... Not the all, players, the owner. They're not going to boo R.J. Barrett and Julius Randle because they're going to play hard. Alonzo Trier, they're going to play hard. They, they can play. So when it's but they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna boo the organization. Like, yo, like... At what part in the game do you know when the fans are now booing for the organization more? What do you mean? If the fans are booing at a game and you're saying it's not going to be for the players, how, when are we going to know that they're booing no, you'll know. the they're, organization? You'll see. You'll, you'll know who they're directing that energy to. It won't... It won't even if the, the Knicks are winning, they're going to be booing. Like, it's not to... The players. I think all of that net stuff and all the success they're having over there is going to empower the Knicks fans to encourage the young Knicks that they know don't have nothing to do with none of that even more. Like RJ Barrett, don't have nothing to do with that. Kevin Knox don't have nothing to do with that. The, and Robinson that's what I said. They don't know, have they're nothing they're to not do booing the players. The Knicks fans have been supporting the Knicks and whoever's on the roster for years. This is that's what I'm saying. This is the year that it it really fucked New York Knicks fans up because y'all didn't even bid for the player that y'all been wanting to bid for. Like, that's insane to me. Like, I don't give a fuck about his Achilles. Like, cool, he, he'll sit out next year. He'll come back. People, Players come back from Achilles injuries. Like, he'll be back. He damn near, he gave the Toronto 11, 11 points on what I felt like his Achilles was already torn. So, I mean, I don't know. Tell me what you think your Lakers are going to do before we get out of here. Uh, Maybe second round. Maybe. I, mean, I don't know what the rest of the roster looks like, so I can't really. But I believe LeBron and AD and Kuzma are, and I, I, I believe I think they're going to bring Rondo back. Kawhi will be there. I don't, I don't know he about will. Kawhi. He'll be there. But if Kawhi's in the mix, then obviously that changes everything. But but Braun and, 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 and AD and, Co- and Kuzma, just for right now, I, I think they can at least, because the West is tough. Yeah. The West is It's not the Eastern Conference It's, if, it's tough If Kawhi is in the mix I know you're a Laker fan But I don't know If I'm watching basketball uh, I, I don't like want to Let me just say that I don't, I don't I don't want to see I only watch a Laker game I don't want to see I don't, I don't want to see Braun and Kate And Kawhi on the same team Because that's yeah. where I'm at now Like as a Knicks fan Like as a Knicks fan Like I was watching y'all Just I'm a Knicks fan Fuck it I'll watch it But I'm not watching y'all Fucking Kyrie is dancing in Brooklyn Like I'm a yeah, Knicks fan I, But I'm watching Kyrie <laughs> But the only reason why I, I I just like to see players Still be able to go at each other I want to see Braun and, and, and Kawhi Go at each other You know what I mean And, and, then, no, and then they both Play the same yeah. position So now who's playing The two or the four yeah. I think that all of those Superstars that we be talking about Are, are scared to death of Kawhi They are All of them they are. LeBron Seth uh, Steph uh, I don't think KD is scared of him No, no <laughs> KD's not scared of him It's bro. funny KD's not scared of Kawhi who who we say KD was scared of? LeBron. I think LeBron KD's is not scared of LeBron. Well, that's what they said. We, who said that? <laughs> we saw him in the fight. Scared of him? No, niggas said that. No, you I think, know, you I know think the expert people that KD is scared of LeBron. Mm-hmm. I think in that finals, it kind of showed that he wasn't. <laughs> I don't know what expert said that, but who's the wrong. best player in the league today? Kawhi. It would be Kawhi Leonard. Yeah. It would be Kawhi. Kawhi today is the best on in whatever NBA. today's date is. He's the best player in NBA. Yeah. I know KD I said, would be up there. If I know he was I said healthy. Russ, but you know Kawhi's the best player in the NBA. KD we, would be up there if he was healthy. Oh, a healthy KD for sure. Yeah. You would have to have the conversation. Yeah. But and right if, now, if, today, if, if you ask me that question, is, is LeBron Kawhi. still in that conversation? He's top. He's, oh, he's gonna always be in that conversation. He's fucking LeBron James. His number is called. You would have to. Yeah. But it's it's Kawhi. Everybody from that draft is retired. It's crazy. <laughs> from whose draft? LeBron's. Or not on an NBA team? Not true. Not everybody. It's a, it's a few left. Most yeah. of them. Darko Milicic, the, the notable ones, the, league. the top, the, <laughs> the top, whole first round, the top yeah, like the top twelve, fourteen picks maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I know, but we can't talk about LeBron being on that shit. Why? I don't know. Can we? We don't know him to be on that shit. <laughs> that's, that's why. Uh, what people talk about. It. I, I don't. I don't. The reason why I don't think so is because I I you you, you see the the work LeBron puts in with his body. His workout regimen, like he the see, the season, they had just lost all them games and didn't make the playoffs, and he was oh, already well, in the gym working out. So it's I'll, like, I'll, I'll say it because you know AD and Kawhi is coming. Then I'll say it since I'm not the sports guy on the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> to last that long at that high level, yeah, you you taking something. Yeah, LeBron's on that Dave Ortiz. <laughs> it's cool. 
I, I don't take anything away from his entire career at all. Me neither. I don't want to make that clear. Even but if it finds, fam, even if you find out for a fact, I'm that not he talking is about on, the level he plays. That's LeBron James and who he is and how he was born in his practice. All that shit. No, but to have no, no that, injuries I'm or the yet. little injuries he's had for I'm this long. Changes, come on. But that changes if we find out that he's on enhancements. Not to no? me. Not to me. What? No. Not to I, me. I think LeBron James is as good it as he is. Asterisk. How does that not change? The I think everyone needs to step their shit up and get the enhancements. I don't. I don't. <laughs> oh well, yeah, that's a whole different. Argument. Well, that's why I've I, never hated on people. That I don't put the asterisk. Uh, baseball is way better when they let people take so much steroids. better. I don't put Fucking the better. asterisk on the on the on the baseball players because it was the pitchers on it too. Yeah, the pitchers was on it. Yeah. So why am I only condemning the uh, the the batters? Right. When when Roger Clemens now had uh, Roger Clemens gets an extra ten miles per hour. <laughs> Nah, Fan. I'm not, I'm not Can, condemning the baseball player. Well, any athlete that's taking enhancements, you have to put an asterisk next to their uh, career. I'm not. You, I you don't, would have I don't to, though. It's like they, Why? they were, Only they when were on enhancement. Proven. What about Lance? Performance enhancement drugs. Everybody in baseball, damn near, was on performance enhancement drugs. Not and everybody. baseball used to be good. <laughs> At the best part when of When it was fun. Oh, yeah. But C League was complicit in it. And yeah. then he got well, busted, yeah. and then they fucking. Uh, Put it all on the players. In basketball, if I find out that LeBron was on some shit, and this is where it's a little different than in baseball. Baseball, you're on that shit. Your power increases. Your arm yeah, increases. He's on something Basketball, different. you're still trying to get that ball in that hoop. It's not a strength. It's not That's a what I'm saying. Thing. I don't think LeBron is on straight steroids. I just think he's on you're not, something when injury I, when prone. When I pass the do. ball to the corner for the, for the three, it's not an iller pass. Now, injury-wise, I'm with you. Yeah, but that, enhancements that, that don't door, just that durability. Yeah, but and I don't think LeBron's the only one on it. It, it enhances everything. You're, you're stronger. You're faster. Like you don't get tired. You you know what I mean? It's like so you have an edge over the, the rest of the field. Oh man, take that shit. <laughs> I mean, if every player take can take it, it then so take be it. it. But well, I'm just saying, take it and not get caught. Have a blast. Professional yeah. sports. It's entertainment. Well, I just don't. On the record, I just don't. Let want me tell you something. The NBA Lakers. and they forward progressive thinking ass. They're going to be the first people to, to embrace some type of drug usage, and then we're going to have some good games. <laughs> y'all, well, the only reason y'all, y'all thought you enjoyed Ron Artest going in the stands in Detroit. There was no weed around. <laughs> well, the only it reason why, blunt the uh, first. He admitted drinking Hennessy at halftime. You but get, but if, that's, that's, oh, okay. that's not an enhancement, though. That's, <laughs> I mean. That's not, a, that's not a performance enhancement. Uh, no. Drinking and smoking. My performance is enhanced. Yeah, I, I, perform, I perform better under Hennessy <laughs> many she, times. She's not, like, what's got it into you? Yeah, dog. <laughs> it's <Not> you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you ever tell her it's her? <laughs> <laughs> or was intimidated and then just started drinking the Henny? <laughs> Yeah, gotta, make, got issues, gotta make sure I'm up to par You with ever this tell one. her it was her. Yo, I want to <laughs> let the new listeners know. I hope there's no new listeners right now. <laughs> I hope no new listeners heard this. Oh, we're not normally this way. No. I'm getting out of here. Reasonable. I'm going home. Reasonable. Are you? No, 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 not home. <laughs> hey, nothing, hey. Oh, the other home. Nothing, nothing waited home for me. The other home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yesterday oh, was the 40-year anniversary of the Walkman. Oh, yeah? Wow. Yes, it made its debut. Wow. 40 years ago. Damn. Yesterday I was like, been damn, the- so I wasn't even born when the Walkman came out. I didn't know that. Well, you're technically a millennial, so. I'm sorry, Te- Rory. Look at the hat. 80. 80 was millennial. <laughs> he looks like a millennial now. It's cool. You guys are great. <laughs> <laughs> we'll play this outro music so we can outro. <laughs> and you guys can stop telling me about my dad hat. Did it throw you guys off this week? It seems like it. Nah, it's cool, man. It's a cool hat. I'm gonna go Look get it, more. Man. I'm gonna go get more. <laughs> Welcome. I've no. been told you on the dad hat game a long time ago. You, no, you, you, was, you was killing me. I can only wear deep dad hats, and this is one it's of them. It's definitely oh. I know what Joe's saying. It's some hats that are made with a deeper Yeah, like, I can't yeah. wear it around. I mean I was the same and way. And then there's some dad hats that's hats. like you just can't widow. Like, your head yeah. is made for uh, dad hats. Dad hats, like yeah. It don't matter Absolutely. which one it is. I can't get it off. Like, this one is kind of cool. It's fucked up that this is uh, my barber's promotional hat because <laughs> I fuck with it. And Jose's got hats. <laughs> no, <okay>. Shout <laughs> to I Jose. actually like how they placed it right there. Yeah. It's so just H- funny. Jose's they, your barber again? Your, wow, I, you I went back. I have two back. barbers now. <laughs> you such a hoe. <laughs> okay. One does my beard right and one does my baldy right. Mm. <laughs> so you literally get a baldy, then go get your beard done. 
Well, no, they were showing up at the same well, time. So that's gotta be I'm awkward. Not, well, must be nice up. to have money. He, he said, "You do you go and do you go? I don't go anywhere. I'm not a peasant." Well, your barber comes to you. Gotcha. Well, how are we supposed to stay informed? But do they ever show up at the same time and like get a little jealous? Jose doesn't want to meet the other one. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's the long term. I can see yeah. Jose not wanting to meet Fresh don't care. <laughs> yeah. Well, fresh like, whatever. I haven't come through. I'll do the top. It's fine. And Jose is like, hmm. What time is he leaving? <laughs> Joe, the last time Joe always trying him? to set up the threesome. It's weird. <laughs> Yo, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. This is the last. Uh, the moment is the last in the past. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. It's the last and it's the past. Yo, this moment is the last in the past. It's all we have. Yeah, it's all we have. Remember, life is full of moments. And What is my shit for real? Life is full of... Uh, life is just... Uh, a that, chick, that chick isn't bad. You just horny. Yeah, <laughs> no, Maul was horny at the club. He don't want to tell us about it. Why you? Why you? What, was horny what do you think I was doing you, that night? I just. I what, which story did Rory give me? You was out horny. No, I wasn't. I, I was chilling. I was. Well, I complimented you and said that you still look cool, but you did look horny. Which how, isn't how did I look horny though? Just tell me how did I look horny. So I, I try not to look horny in public. <laughs> what was I'm I doing that made me look tell- horny? <laughs> The past is the last, <laughs> and the last I just is the past. I want to know what I was doing. It made me look. Hor- I don't want to look horny. Like, <laughs> who wants to look horny? I don't want to look horny. Humping around. <laughs> I wasn't humping. Why are you looking? At me like that? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, man? Yeah, life is a uh, life is a series of moments, and moments is all we have. So let's make this one last. I forgot the shit, man. You've been trying to make this into a t-shirt. I'm with you on the merch game. No, I forgot. We just keep fucking it up. Yeah, I forgot it. And y'all don't fucking help me. Listen, the bitch ain't cute. She's young. (laughs) Until the next time. Peace. Adios. Arrivederci. So long. Goodbye. Listen, man. We'll be back on Saturday. Great. This has been going on for... How long have been recording? No, I forgot about Joey Chestnut. No, 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 no,